Hey, it's Breeze Airways, the seriously nice airline that wants to fly you to your next vacation. Fly nonstop from Abraham Lincoln Capital Airport in Springfield to Orlando and Tampa Bay faster and easier than ever before. We don't charge change or cancellation fees, so you can book with complete peace of mind. Go to flybreeze.com or download the Breeze app to book your trip. Breeze Airways, seriously nice. The Riverbank Lodge. Stop in Monday through Friday from 11 to 2 p.m. for the best lunch in Petersburg and nightly 4 to midnight where you can enjoy food, drinks, and gaming. Why not stay the night? Ask about our room rates. The Riverbank Lodge, Petersburg. Play slots or try a hand at video poker and win big with Excel Entertainment, Illinois' leading terminal operator. Take a spin with us and have your pick of the hottest games and enjoy the latest upgrades. Gaming as easy as 3 2 win. Powered by Excel Entertainment. Game on. Now, your dependable forecast on 927 WMAY. Mainly clear today with highs around 63. Northwesterly winds 8 to 15 miles per hour. Clear skies tonight, lows level off around 38. Sunny skies again tomorrow, high temperatures reach up to 65. Upper 60s Wednesday with a chance for scattered storms. Turning warmer Thursday with highs in the mid 70s, chance for storms continues. I'm meteorologist Jennifer we cheat ski. Currently, it's 36. Weather sponsored by BLH Computers in Springfield, Jacksonville, and Taylorville. Online at blhcomputers.com. If your checking account doesn't come with discounts and offers on goods and services, it's time to get More For You Checking. More For You Checking from Heartland Bank offers 24-hour roadside assistance, cell phone protection, identity theft aid, and discounts on prescriptions and much more. Wherever you go, More For You Checking benefits save you money on the things you're already paying for. Visit hbtbank.com and unlock the power of more. More For You Checking from Heartland Bank and Trust Company. Member FDIC. Save big money in all things outdoors with 11% off at Menards. Protect vehicles, outdoor equipment, and more with Shelter Logic Storage Solutions. With a heavy duty steel frame and waterproof cover, the Shelter Logic Auto Shelter Portable Garage is the perfect choice. Right now, get a 10 by 20 foot auto shelter for $299.99 after 11% off. Good through October 15th. Savings are a mail in rebate. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. Save big money at Menards. Check out the America's Talking Podcast, a show featuring thoughtful conversations with host Austin Berg and guests that range from opioid epidemic expert Dr. Limpke. What are the best predictors of a person's ability or likelihood of success in overcoming an addiction? Really interesting question. I mean, it's a combination of the biopsychosocial aspects that make up the disease of addiction in the first place. Biology speaks to uh, the sort of inborn or innate vulnerability to addiction that that person has in their DNA. What's their genetic load? To stand up comedian Mark Norman. For me, it was a couple things. I, I was finally getting some heat. I was I opened for Seinfeld. I did Joe Rogan. I had a Tonight Show come out. I was like cooking. And then the COVID hit. I was selling tickets for the first time in my life. Listen to the America's Talking Podcast at americastalking.com or wherever you get your podcast. So when was the last time you saw a best deal guarantee? You mean a promise that actually held up? Right. That some unknown online entity didn't want you to log in and download a code and then re-verify as you join some club? Drives you nuts, I know. And then once you purchase that set of steak knives? Well, Dick Van Dyke Appliance World is a lot simpler. You find a verified great deal and they beat it. Just show them the deal you saw. A newspaper clipping or the online cart price will do, and then you're good. At Dick Van Dyke Appliance World, it's one of those instances where you see a best deal guarantee and... You get the best deal. This is Dennis Rekin, chairman of Dick Van Dyke Appliance World. Our exclusive 10-year protection plan comes free with most appliance purchases. Whether it's a GE, Whirlpool, Frigidaire, Bosch, or any of our 30 brands, I guarantee we will beat any competitor's deal. Wow! Dick Van Dyke Springfield's Morning News with Greg Bishop, broadcasting from the Fly SPI Studios. Take the easy way out. 927 WMAY. Springfield's News and Talk.
Cousin Bill here with Illinois Paving. Do you need a new driveway? Did you drag your feet this summer? Well, call now before the season ends. When other contractors say no, Illinois Paving will say yes with immediate openings available, whether it's asphalt or hot tar and chip. Call Cousin Bill, 788 7777. 788 7 wmay Springfield's News and Talk. Ah, you know, it's Monday. Let's just, uh, let's just put it that way. <laughs> Welcome in. Springfield's Morning News. I'm Greg Bishop on 92.7 WMAY. Springfield's News and Talk. Um, pretty uh, wild weekend with all of the news out of Israel and the surprise attack from terrorists from Hamas and the uh, growing uh, divide between those who uh, want to support Israel and those who say that uh, Palestinians have uh, had to endure a whole host of things. So we may tackle that a little bit later on. But, of course, uh, one of the big things that uh, some of those who look at the Second Amendment in the state of Illinois, let alone the United States, say uh, something like what's happened in Israel is a clear indication as to why individuals have a Second Amendment right in this country, uh, and that is a right to keep and bear arms uh, the, as per the Second Amendment. Now, what's the Second Amendment? It's the amendment to the U.S. Constitution that says a well-regulated militia being necessary for the security of of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. And I think that free state element right there is extremely important to free state from what? Uh, It's not necessarily about freedom from deer or pheasant or hunting, you know, various hunting rights. It's about keeping the state free from foreign invaders or from a tyrannical government. That's how at least a lot of people have interpreted the Second Amendment. Over the past 250 years, uh, but what we have obviously is uh, an ongoing question as to how that Second Amendment's being applied uh, and how it's uh, being challenged as well. In Illinois, we've got that ongoing situation with uh, the gun and magazine ban that's being challenged in courts, and we had the uh, registration window open up last week, so it's now been open for nine days. And I'm told by Illinois State Police that they will be publishing statistics on a rolling basis. Uh, as to how many people are actually complying with that. And you'll be able to follow along uh, with uh, how they're they're going to be rolling this. Uh, I believe they're going to post it on their uh, FOID statistics website. It's either there or it's going to be where you can uh, go to the Frequently Asked Questions for the Protect Illinois Communities Act, and that's the gun and magazine ban. All of this, while you also have uh, the ongoing questions of where this is in the courts. All right. So where are we in the courts? Still no updates on the Seventh Circuit U.S. Court of Appeals on the challenge against Illinois' gun and magazine ban on Second Amendment grounds. October 11th, down in the Southern District of Illinois, uh, they're going to have a hearing on uh, a challenge that the law is too vague. And in particular, when it comes to things like you having to register certain attachments. Well, what are those attachments? If you look at the frequently asked questions on uh, the state police website, when it says what are considered attachments, it merely just points you to the law. Uh, but uh, stay tuned. We'll uh, we'll continue looking at this, especially when it comes to the uh, uh, expectations of what exactly we could see broken down from the FOID card uh, database here uh, and the, the uh, amounts of numbers of people uh, registering their firearms and some of the speculation that's been circulating online as well. So stay tuned. We'll get to that next here on WMAY. It's Springfield's Morning News. Good morning to everyone. And yes, indeed, uh, to those just now waking up, hopefully you've got your coffee because I've got my coffee and uh, we're ready to rock and roll for the next uh, two hours and 45 minutes. You got me till nine o'clock. A little bit of rocket fuel there uh, this early in the morning. 617. And let's take a look at that forecast today. 
where you've got a high of around 63, the low down to 38, and sunny on Tuesday, the high of 65. Got a chance of some showers Tuesday night, the low of 43, and the Wednesday showers likely with the high of 70. Thursday, we're looking at mostly sunny skies, the high of 75. Right now, it's a chilly 36 degrees at 617 from Culver's West on Wabash. Deliver smiles, butter burgers, fresh custard, and great service. Culver's West on Wabash is hiring for all positions. Clock Tower Community Bank, a division of Morton Community Bank, is more than just a place to keep your money. They care about you, your family, your favorite business, and the charities you support. Clock Tower Community Bank offers a full range of personal and business banking services. With six convenient locations in Springfield and Chatham, our experienced local bankers are here for you in every way. They're local people making local decisions for local success. So if you're looking for a bank that's everything you want in a community bank, visit Clock Tower Community Bank today. Member FDIC Equal Housing lender. Hi, this is Dr. Brad Schaefer. As a podiatrist, I can tell you no two people's feet are alike, which is why I recommend Dr. Scholl's Custom Fit Orthotic Inserts. They're customized for your feet, so you get a unique solution your feet really need. Not just a one-size-fits-all insole. They're clinically proven to provide pain relief for achy feet, knees, lower back, plantar fasciitis, and heels. Take the Dr. Scholl's Custom Fit Orthotics Assessment in Walmart today. Now in the foot care aisle. In business, everything your employees do impacts your brand, including what they wear. Cintas has high-performance workplace apparel for almost every job imaginable. From work shirts and pants to polos and khakis to Oxfords or T-shirts, these clothes move, breathe, and look great. Your team gets the styles they like, you convey the image you want. And Cintas service includes weekly laundry and delivery. To learn more, visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. What's for dinner? Burgers? After last week? No thanks. Avoiding foods due to fear of diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools? It may not be just stomach issues. It could be EPI, or exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. EPI can cause uncomfortable symptoms because it's a condition where the pancreas doesn't release enough digestive enzymes to break down food. But EPI can be managed. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor about your symptoms. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by Abby. There are many reasons to buy a Verlo mattress. We've narrowed it down to the eight great reasons to choose Verlo. Reason number eight, we do all sizes. Most mattress retailers sell twin, full, queen, and king. It's rare to find a place that will not only sell standard size, but also custom sizes. So where do you go if you need a short queen for your RV, a three-quarter for your antique bed, a queen or king waterbed replacement, or to find a replacement for that weird mattress tucked up in the attic that's been passed down for years? You go to Verlo. For a list of all eight great reasons and our current sale, Google us or like us on Facebook. Hey, at the end of the day, everybody wants the same thing from their mattress. A good night's rest, am I right? It's not rocket science. You don't need a physics genius to make you a futuristic space bed. You just need someone to listen to what you want and who knows the materials that will get you there. And you might even be surprised to learn that that someone could be living right next door. At Verlo, we're your friendly neighborhood mattress genius. American made, locally crafted, Welcome to Verlo. Hey, it's Breeze Airways, the seriously nice airline that wants to fly you to your next vacation. Fly nonstop from Abraham Lincoln Capital Airport in Springfield to Orlando and Tampa Bay faster and easier than ever before. We don't charge change or cancellation fees, so you can book with complete peace of mind. Go to flybreeze.com or download the Breeze app to book your trip. Breeze Airways, seriously nice. Springfield's Morning News with Greg Bishop on 92.7 WMAY. Well, it's been more than a week since the gun ban registry in the state of Illinois has been open. Have you filed your paperwork? 
217-629-7970. That's the phone number. Love to hear from you. And uh, just your regular general thoughts on this as well. Again, 217-629-7970 is the phone number. I asked Illinois State Police last week uh, what they were going to be doing if uh, they were going to be releasing some of the statistics of who is registering, uh, especially now that we've got uh, a week here in uh, and when they're going to be having that data available. Uh, and they said that they will be publishing some of the statistics uh, and they could be publishing it on their website, isp.illinois.gov slash FOID slash statistics. And if you've seen this website, it's the Illinois State Police, uh, and they break down all the different statistics you may want to know. Uh, but it doesn't look like as of this morning that they have the actual statistics for the gun registry that's just a little over a week old. Uh, but uh, you've got uh, you know a variety of different statistics here showing there are 2.4 million FOID cards, and it breaks it down per county. Of course, Cook has the most uh, with 731,000 FOID card holders. Uh, looks like DuPage followed. Following up um, with uh, even Will County, uh, 150,000 plus. Uh, then you get uh, some statistics broken down by month and uh, the various you know, number of renewals and so on. And even uh, the issues of uh, you know various CCL statistics, uh, FTIP transfers, how many people have uh, purchased firearms, uh, for instance, and uh, various different types of uh, you know FOID card uh, enforcement uh, reports. Uh, as well as uh, the historical trajectory of all of these different types of data sets. But again, we have yet to see here if they are indeed going to be uh, releasing that uh, that that numbers on uh, how many people have actually registered their firearms as per the Protect Illinois Communities Act. Uh, but this is still being challenged in the courts. We still have no outcome out of the Seventh Circuit U.S. Court of Appeals. We still have a hearing October 11th that's coming up Wednesday in the Southern District of Illinois about the uh, vagueness issues of the state law. Uh, so are you going to be, uh, you know, uh, essentially filing information, telling state police that you have these weapons, that these firearms that uh, legislators have said are banned. Uh, coming up here in a moment, I'll tell you about some of the things that are being speculated online. Everything from those concerned of possible inflated data that could be released as a way to put pressure on people to, to register their firearms and even uh, Voodoo Firearms in Manuka uh, sharing a video on Facebook that's uh, been making the rounds and has some people concerned. But of course, I want to get your phone calls at 217-629-7970. Good morning. You're on WMAY. Morning. Hey. Um, just curious, what is the registry supposed to do? Yeah, so uh, and, and, and I, the governor's been asked this before, uh, and you know, particularly, why do you need these firearms to be registered? Uh, and the, the Democrats who supported this push back and say nobody's coming after your guns. They just say they want to know where they're at, just for safety purposes, I guess. What that got to do with the idea of a legally owned firearm? They're going to register every firearm? Only semi-automatics that are listed in the law, but also you've got every October 1st state police that are going to be updating that list, uh, which could expand or uh, contract, yeah, the, I guess. 99% of firearms are banned by his little law. I don't know if that <laughs> if many, but read, a lot of the... If, a lot if, of let's, the let's see. How about if you were a true gun owner and had multiple guns for multiple reasons and you knew quite a bit about firearms, you can find something with every firearm yep. that he's trying to ban. Yeah, and, and even down and, to the point. And handguns, not just rifles. Yes. It's handguns, too. They're semi-automatics, essentially. Uh, rifles, shotguns, handguns. If they're semi-automatic, likely they are uh, being labeled by Illinois legislators as assault weapons uh, and therefore on this list that need to be registered if you own them before January 10th. But again, the law is still being challenged in federal court. 
Uh, you also have uh, Tom DeVore still going after the law based on equal protection grounds. Uh, so could there be an injunction between now and the January 1st deadline to register or face criminal uh, charges between a Class A misdemeanor or a Class 3 felony? Uh, so, yeah, what's going to happen there? Uh, Gun Save Life have a, a blog post where they're concerned about the possibility of the uh, – registration data being inflated. Uh, They say they have sources that uh, are worried that sometime in December they're going to put out a 78% compliance rate for the gun registration uh, and also speculating that this could be some kind of psyop. Uh, Gun Save Life goes on to say that uh, they, they're worried that uh, this could come sometime early December and the governor making the proclamation to uh, register before January 1st as a sort of peer pressure in, 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 in terms that uh, Gun Save Life uh, posts here. Uh, but they actually believe that the actual compliance rate is going to be between 8 and 13%. Uh, and that's based off of uh, what we've seen in other states where uh, you've got the questions of what exactly that compliance rate is going to be. Uh, but you've got others speculating online. Voodoo Firearms in Munuka, they posted this on social media over the weekend, um, really with concerns about some new data that state police are collecting when it comes to you know firearms transfers and uh, transfers of uh, uh, different types of accessories but also ammunition transfers. Check this out. All right. We're here tonight with Hi, Joe. And we were just running some uh, information on uh, ammo sales, and we got a little surprise that popped up tonight, didn't we? We did. So... Hi, everybody. Just so what, what we found out is we've known for a while, and everybody's kind of known, that they started doing a background check for ammunition it was originally not supposed to be a background check for ammunition you got a visitor it was mostly supposed to be a background check to verify your foid's validity because they don't have ex- expiration dates on them anymore so i just had customers two customers come in buy some ammunition and we went through the ammunition process and let me show you what they've done so what they've done is they've changed What used to be, you came over here to the firearms and ammunition transfer. You went here to the ammunition transfer. And when I scrolled down, I saw, whoa, there's a new new button over here, start weapons accessory transfer. So now they're tracking any of the accessories. So if we have magazines or if we have any, you know, uh, hand guards or whatever they are that uh, we're selling, that's getting tracked. And then I clicked on the select ammunition transfer, and then this now comes up. This is brand new. So they're now tracking the caliber of the ammunition that you're buying. And why would they do that, Joe? The only reason I can think of that they would want to track the ammunition that you're buying is because if you're not going to register your firearm, but you buy 223, it's going to be pretty obvious that you're buying 223 for an AR and they're gonna to wanna to know why you're buying ammunition for a gun you didn't register. So think wisely, my friends, figure out how you're gonna do it because they're coming. So obviously right, there's uh, concerns good- there. Uh, Voodoo uh, Firearms in Manuka um, sharing that video uh, late last week and it's just some of the uh, speculation and concerns that there are. Uh, and we'll obviously be tracking this as we get closer to January 1st, but also as we watch what happens with the court cases. Because uh, again, I think a lot of people are waiting to see what happens with the court cases and whether or not there's going to be an injunction put in place while this place through the appeals process uh, because you do have the appellate court on the Second Amendment issues. You've got the lower federal courts in the Southern District taking up a vagueness issue. You've still got that Fifth Amendment argument that says that you are not to be forced to uh, you know, incriminate yourself um, as, as some would point to this being uh, something that says uh, well, you, you you are forced to incriminate yourself or face uh, you know sanctions, criminal sanctions. 
uh, by having to register your firearms in the state of Illinois. Uh, so I'll, all of this ebb and flow, and uh, we'll, we'll watch and see what happens, and also whether or not uh, they're, they're going to be posting on the data uh, website for Illinois State Police uh, the, the, the latest numbers, if they indeed put those numbers out, uh, as to adding to the FOID card statistics. Are they going to add to the number of uh, semi-automatic rifles that are being um, ultimately registered? And just to give you an idea, uh, Illinois State Police did uh, did kind of spell out, uh, and as far as uh, what they're looking for, uh, and that's you know the number of uh, different types of affidavits, uh, which style of affidavit um, they're they're you know style of firearm. Uh, let me pull this up really quick so I can get you uh, precisely the types of data sets they're going to be looking for uh, and uh, spelled out by uh, a uh, state police uh, spokesperson. They're going to look at the, the disclosure for weapons, the number of disclosures, the disclosures for accessories, the disclosures for ammunition, and the number of individual filing disclosures. So that's the numbers that they're set to provide to the public as to what exactly they're going to be looking for uh, on the uh, state police website. Uh, Illinois State Police, just search it, uh, isp.illinois.gov slash FOID slash statistics, and you'll be able to find that. All right, you'll be able to find me anywhere. Just search Bishop on air, and we can connect anytime, on air or off air. Just search X, formerly Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. Uh, just search Bishop on air, and we can connect that way. All right, coming back, we'll have to talk about the ongoing migrant crisis because Governor J.B. Pritzker was on uh, Face of the Nation over the weekend. You've got New York City's mayor that was talking about sanctuary policies and how much all of this is going to continue to cost taxpayers. Stay tuned. We'll get to that next here on WMAY. It's now 633, and here's a check of headlines. 92.7 WMAY. Here are the three big things you need to know. I'm Don Howard. Our top story, the 2024 election will be conducted with a lot of new faces. In some states, about half of election workers have quit, leaving officials scrambling to find replacements. The primary reason given is fear for their safety. Threats against election officials are animated primarily by former President Trump's lies about his 2020 loss. Election officials in Nevada noted that new officials make more mistakes than experienced ones, which could lead to even more conspiracy theories in the event that new hires make honest mistakes. Sunday's Chicago Marathon ended with a new world record. Kelvin Kiptum finished the race in 2 hours 35 seconds, breaking the record of another Kenyan runner by 34 seconds. The winner of the women's race, Sifan Hassan of the Netherlands, finished in 2 hours, 13 minutes, 44 seconds, the second fastest ever for a woman and less than two minutes behind the world record. Statistics show Illinois is among the most dangerous states in the country for vehicle and pedestrian accidents at railroad crossings. A Union Pacific Railroad spokesman says one persistent problem is people taking photos on train tracks for weddings, graduations, and other events. About 50 people a year are killed or seriously injured around railroad tracks in Illinois. Nationwide, a person or vehicle is struck by a train every three hours on average. The Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity has announced the conclusion of the Back to Business Restaurants, Hotels, and Arts program with $156 million provided in relief funds. Through these three programs, nearly 4,000 grants went to businesses in over 500 cities, towns, and localities in 95 counties across the state. Over $27 million went to Sangamon County hotels, restaurants, and arts associations. Statistics show Illinois is among the most dangerous states in the country for vehicle and pedestrian accidents at railroad crossings. A Union Pacific Railroad spokesman says one persistent problem is people taking photos on train tracks for weddings, graduations, and other events. About 50 people a year are killed or seriously injured around railroad tracks in Illinois. Nationwide, a person or vehicle is struck by a train every three hours on average. The so-called Constitutional Sheriff's to the Midwest, Richard Mack, founder of the Constitutional Sheriff and Peace Officer Association, is touring Minnesota as a guest speaker at nine different stops, including the Oath Keepers, which he helped found. The group believes that sheriffs have the authority to refuse enforcement of any law they consider unconstitutional. The idea has no basis in law, in part because counties in the United States are subdivisions of the state in which they are located, making it illegal for a county official to countermand state laws. 
Your WMAY dependable forecast is next on Springfield's News and Talk. With rising costs and inflation, why not use your home's equity for the money you need today? Whether it's a kitchen renovation or paying off high-interest debt, INB can help. We're currently offering attractive rates for home equity line of credit products. To learn more, stop by an INB branch or visit us online at INB.com. INB, we make banking easy. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. NMLS number 477621. That to-do list you have needs one more thing. Chill. It's an easy thing to do. Just crack open an ice cold Coors Light and chill. Take the afternoon off and binge watch anything. Go to happy hour and stay for a couple hours. Who's counting anyways? Or hang out with just your dog because you've had enough human interaction this week. Whatever you do, do it with a Coors Light. Mountain cold refreshment made to chill. 2020 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. It seems like everyone in business these days has one big thing in common. We're all looking for our next great new hire. It's tough out there, and with the unemployment rate near 4%, your next star employee may very well already be working somewhere else. But guess what? Do they even know you're hiring? That's where Midwest Family Springfield can help. We've partnered with NaviQuest to provide business owners and hiring managers a free recruitment marketing workshop. We're calling it Recruitment on the Rocks. This happy hour informational event is free to attend and will be held on Wednesday, November 15th from 4.30 to 6 p.m. at BuzzBomb in Springfield. The information provided will be educational and interactive to help you recruit so you can find the next player for your team. Isn't it time for you to work on your business and not just at your business? Seating is very limited, so please RSVP today at MidwestFamilySPI.com. We hope you can join us with our guests from NaviQuest for our free Recruitment on the Rocks Happy Hour Workshop Wednesday, November 15th from 4.30 to 6 p.m. at BuzzBomb in Springfield. To reserve your seat, RSVP today at MidwestFamilySPI.com. Now, your dependable forecast on 92.7 WMAY. Mainly clear today with highs around 63. Northwesterly winds, 8 to 15 miles per hour. Clear skies tonight, lows level off around 38. Sunny skies again tomorrow. High temperatures reach up to 65. Upper 60s Wednesday with a chance for scattered storms. Turning warmer Thursday with highs in the mid-70s. Chance for storms continues. I'm meteorologist Jennifer we cheat ski. Currently, it's 36. Weather sponsored by Lotterback Tire and Auto, home of Stage 2 service. Drive safely now. Getting around town can be a challenge for those with disabilities. SMTD's Access Paratransit makes it easy. I'm Calvin Shannon, SMTD Paratransit Road Supervisor. As a road supervisor, I go out and make sure the fleet runs on schedule. Whatever issues might occur, I take care of them to make sure the feet get back on schedule. And Calvin, what would you say is the best part of your job? I love helping people with disability, making sure they get to their doctor's appointment and places on time. For schedules and routes, go to smtd.org. Are you putting your retirement savings in a 401k or IRA? Then I have one word of advice. Stop. You've been lied to by the Wall Street fat cats who get paid whether you win or lose. They say risk your life savings in the stock market, but studies show people who follow that advice will outlive their savings by a staggering 10 years. They say max out your contributions to 401ks, but the man who invented the 401k now says it's a monster that should be destroyed. They say defer paying your taxes to retire in a lower tax bracket, but retirees who fell for that lie are paying higher taxes than ever. Now get a free report exposing the wealth-killing lies you've been told and discover the proven retirement plan alternative Wall Street fat cats hope you never hear about. You can get guaranteed competitive growth every year and tax-free retirement income. Get your free report now at bankonyourself.com save. That's bankonyourself.com save. Bankonyourself.com slash save. Clock Tower Community Bank is everything you want in a community bank. Local people making local decisions for local success. With six convenient locations in Springfield and Chatham, our experienced local bankers are here for you in every way, from opening a checking account to getting a loan. And because we're local, we share the commitment to the success and future of our community. Visit Clock Tower Community Bank today. Clock Tower Community Bank, a division of Morton Community Bank. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Springfield's Morning News with Greg Bishop. Broadcasting from the Fly SPI Studios. Take the easy way out. 92.7 WMAY. Springfield's News and Talk.
and then folks shouldn't sh should be told that it's going to get cold in Chicago and New York very soon. And there are lots of other places in the country that they might want to consider going. And the White House and the federal government should be facilitating that. And that's uh, Governor J.B. Pritzker Sunday on Face the Nation uh, talking about, hey, it's going to get cold in Chicago and maybe uh, people shouldn't be transported from the southern U.S. border to Chicago. Uh, and that's some of the latest where we're at in this conversation concerning the crisis at the border impacting Illinois, which is not a border state, but uh, your tax dollars paying for this in the tune of more than half a billion dollars. And could there be more spending involved here? Uh, that's something that's being speculated, especially with state lawmakers heading back to the Springfield Capitol here in Springfield, uh, the state capitol with uh, fall veto session. And they could possibly bring up a supplemental appropriation. That's something that Governor J.B. Pritzker was asked about last week, and here's what he had to say in response to that question of, are state taxpayers going to have to pay more, or are we going to see some type of you know, shifting of dollars? Here's uh, Governor J.B. Pritzker last week. As you know, we balanced the budget for this year, and it, it isn't as if we're coming in with you know enormous surpluses, and, and we always have things that are you know, an opportunity for us to be of assistance. Um, this is not something where we have hundreds of millions of dollars to support, but remember, we've gone above and beyond. We've taken some of the uh, programs that have pre-existed this crisis and sort of adjusted them to help with the migrant crisis. Let me give you one example. Our rental assistance program, which is very important for helping people that just fall just under the ability to pay their rent. Um, we have uh, provided some of that rental assistance money, which wasn't originally intended to be about asylum seekers for this challenge. So again, uh, the governor talking about how they are uh, looking to shift dollars around. Uh, so we'll see what uh, that looks like in the wash. And I don't know if that's necessarily something they have to reappropriate. Because one thing that's fascinating is we have an ongoing disaster proclamation that the governor has issued since August of 2022. And it's been every 30 days. The governor has been re-upping a disaster proclamation concerning uh, the, the migrant crisis impacting Chicago. And it seems to be getting worse, again, as you've got uh, growing criticism uh, across the board. And uh, six out of ten polled uh, say that uh, the Biden administration's handling this is uh, not right. Uh, and you've got border crossings that are skyrocketing with some observers blaming the administration for creating the perception that the border is open. Uh, but as we saw last week, uh, you've got a couple of different things that uh, the administration's doing, including growing uh, the border wall by constructing more of a physical barrier, but also announcing that they're going to resume deportations of Venezuelans in the country illegally. So those are a couple of the things I think that uh, the, the White House has felt the pressure on. But again, that doesn't necessarily alleviate the tax dollars that are being used right now for housing migrants, for taking care of migrants in the city of Chicago. And the city of Chicago may be coming to Springfield to seek more state tax dollars. Governor Pritzker saying ah, it's probably not going to happen because uh, there's not hundreds of millions of dollars in the budgets that we can just uh, give to the city of Chicago. Here's Mayor Brandon Johnson's reaction to that. Help with housing. Have you had that conversation with him and talked about that specifically? Well, what, what we've talked about, first of all, I'm grateful for the work that um, that, that has been done. And again, the people of Chicago, we're being asked and quite frankly tasked with carrying the, the, the vast majority of this, this responsibility. I, I, I know that the leadership in, in the state of Illinois recognizes um, the importance of Chicago. And, and, you know, the only thing that, I'm, that I can do is, is do my part. <clears throat> And I'm asking other folks to do their part. And as I've said multiple times, that the, the weight and the brunt of this sacrifice has been on Chicagoans. And I'm hearing loud and clear from our black residents in particular um, that they have high expectations, as they should. It's why making sure that we pass one fair wage um, was a priority of mine, because the vast majority of individuals are black and brown women who are, are doing the work.
So uh, this is, uh, of course, on Friday that uh, uh, Mayor Brandon Johnson out of Chicago was asked about this, and it was during a news conference we'll actually talk about later on in the program that does away with the tipped wage, and they're moving forward with that. So he kind of worked in the, the, you know, quote, one fair wage uh, ordinance into his response here. But clearly, uh, there's uh, there's more money needed, he says. And he's uh, ongoing in conversations about getting more tax dollars to help with this situation. Here again is more from uh, Mayor Brandon Johnson. Good afternoon, Mayor. Good afternoon. Uh, yesterday, did Speaker Welch promise more migrant funding for Chicago during the veto session? And in general, do you think it's time the state starts looking at cuts elsewhere to provide more migrant grants to the city? Well, what I've said repeatedly, that the shared sacrifice has to be um, equitably um, um, handled and addressed. And I've had this conversation with Speaker Welch, with the Senate president, with the governor, um, with the White House. I've had this conversation with um, our board president. You know, all of us have to step in and lean in to have a shared sacrifice in this dynamic. Look, as uh, you know, I can't emphasize enough that I know that the strain that this has caused on our economy, um, and particularly within our, our, our black neighborhoods. You know, black people have have had to share a lot and endure a lot. And that conversation that I had with the speaker, the Senate president, the governor, the board president, the president of the United States, I'm constantly reminding them that the pressure that that continues to be placed on the city of Chicago, and particularly black Chicago, they have to help alleviate that. So uh, again, Johnson uh, saying that uh, you know there's uh, some alleviation that needs to happen. Um, and he blames, uh, quote, right wing extremists. Uh, but Mayor Johnson is going to uh, the border when not sure yet, but he's heading there. Uh, just recently, New York's mayor, Eric Adams, returned from the border. And here's some of what he had to say about the issue of more migrants and the messages that are being sent and sanctuary city policies. Uh, here's Eric Adams on Face the Nation uh, earlier uh, last this past weekend. We can't have a rule that one can come from anywhere on the globe and come to New York City and remain in New York City as long as they want and taxpayers must pick up the cost. This is a $5 billion price tag uh, this fiscal year, $12 billion over three years. That money is coming from somewhere. It's mm -hmm. unfair to the migrant seekers and asylum seekers, and it's also unfair to everyday taxpayers, New York, New Yorkers. And also uh, in Illinois, where it's costing more than half a billion dollars, more from Eric Adams, uh, recently back from his trip down to the southern border. What was the message? And I wanted to communicate with the local CBOs, local elected leaderships there, and the local citizen residents to learn from them, but also to send a clear message on their medias. Yeah. New York is out of room. So and New York's out of room. No more room at the inn in New York. Well, um, what's the message that Governor J.B. Pritzker is wanting to send, especially as the weather gets ready to turn? What's Mayor Brandon Johnson's uh, message moving forward when it comes to migrant base camp tents? We'll get to all of that. Stay tuned. It is Springfield's Morning News on WMAY 649 from Culver's West on Wabash. Work with a team that cares about being the best part of the customer's day. Apply today at Culver's West on Wabash. Join the fight against cancer at Denim and Diamonds 2023. This year's gala is Saturday, October 14th at the Crown Plaza Springfield. As always, all money raised stays right here in Central Illinois, supporting local cancer research and patient comforts at Simmons Cancer Institute at SIU School of Medicine. Tickets and tables are available at siumed.edu slash cancer. Denim and Diamonds is sponsored by Quick and Easy. Memorial Health, Simmons Hanley Conroy, Isringhausen Imports, Jeff and Tina Bennett, Roland and Linda Foles, and the Noonan Patton Group at Merrill Lynch. Hello, everybody. Cousin Bill with Illinois Paving. And the burrs are here. September, October, November. So if you need a new drive we've done this year, you better call now. When others say no, they can't get to you this year, Illinois Paving says yes with immediate openings available. So call Cousin Bill, 788 Seven 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 eight eight seven 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 seven. I think what people want from their doctors, as much as anything, is a partner in their care. I'm Dr. Chris McDowell, a physician with SIU Medicine. Our clinical excellence is unmatched in the region. We're home to the latest technology, the best people. But what sets us apart is our commitment to our patients. Being there for them as a partner, a supporter, as an advocate, and even a neighbor. That's what makes SIU Medicine so unique. 
Learn more at SIUMed.org. Woke up on the wrong side of the bed again? Can't clean up that attitude. But we can clean your office, your school, your clinic, or other amazing workplace. Learn more at cleanimpactllc.com. Ah, you're running late again. Can't clean up that schedule. But we can clean your office, your school, your clinic, or other amazing workplace. Learn more at cleanimpactllc.com. Do you know the difference between a Medicare supplement and an Advantage plan? Medicare's open enrollment is October 15th through December 7th. This is your opportunity to shop, compare, and make changes to your plan. Make Medicare easy. Contact Sullivan Financial in Chatham for a no-cost consultation. Let us help you find a plan that fits your needs and your budget. Sullivan Financial of Chatham. Find us on Facebook or online at SullivanFinance.com. The Riverbank Lodge. Stop in Monday through Friday from 11 to 2 p.m. for the best lunch in Petersburg and nightly 4 to midnight where you can enjoy food, drinks, and gaming. Why not stay the night? Ask about our room rates. The Riverbank Lodge, Petersburg. Play slots or try a hand at video poker and win big with Excel Entertainment, Illinois' leading terminal operator. Take a spin with us and have your pick of the hottest games and enjoy the latest upgrades. Gaming as easy as 3, 2, win. Powered by Excel Entertainment. Game on. Like any good agent, we're here for the open house, for the closing, for handing over keys. But because we're Realtors, we're here for so much more. Agents who are Realtors volunteer at nearly three times the national average. We're working to broaden access to credit, increase affordable housing supply, and ensure fair housing for all. And Realtors are bound by a code of ethics. We're here for it all. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. That's who we are. What's for dinner? Burgers? After last week? No thanks. Avoiding foods due to fear of diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools? It may not be just stomach issues. It could be EPI, or exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. EPI can cause uncomfortable symptoms because it's a condition where the pancreas doesn't release enough digestive enzymes to break down food. But EPI can be managed. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor about your symptoms. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by Abby. Menards has the floor with the style you want and performance you need. Latitude Luxury Vinyl Plank from Shaw is the perfect choice to bring elegance to your home while standing up to the most demanding environments. It's waterproof, durable, and is easy to install. Latitude Vinyl Plank is just $2.99 a square foot after 11% rebate. Good through October 15th. Savings are a mail-in rebate. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. Save big money at Menards. Time to move inside and make your home warm and cozy. Hendrix Home Furnishings is having a fall sale on all things homey. Cozy up on a new sofa or sectional. Relax and unwind with comfy recliners or stylish chairs. Pick out a new fireplace console to complement your seasonal decor. Settle in for a gathering at your new dining or kitchen table. Don't miss out on our limited time fall offers. Just a short drive to Verdon on Route 4. Hendrix Home Furnishings has everything you need to create a warm and inviting space. Springfield's Morning News with Greg Bishop. Weekdays 6 till 9 on 927 WMAY. The Democratic conventions in Chicago next year. Are you confident that your city and your state are going to have a better grasp on it by this time? I am confident that we can handle it, but again, it will require help from the federal government and someone needs to work in Texas with these border politicians to have them stop sending people only to blue cities and blue states. And the president of the United States and the White House has the ability to help disperse folks across the country. That will help a lot. That's uh, Governor J.B. Pritzker uh, Sunday on Face the Nation and making um, the the statement that, hey, uh, it's the border politicians that need to stop sending these migrants to blue cities and blue states. These blue cities and blue states, by the way, have enacted sanctuary city and sanctuary state policies that make enforcement of federal immigration law 
relaxed. And that's something that uh, clearly is, uh, according to uh, New York Mayor uh, Eric Adams, uh, it's not something that uh, we can really do anymore because the exorbitant amount of cost of, as the border's wide open. Uh, and you got the governor here at Illinois saying that's uh, the border politicians. He says we need help from the federal government but didn't explicitly say close the border, which you would think with the record number of people coming across the border, including just the El Paso uh, sector, 400,000 uh, beating last year's 308,000 encounters. That's just part of the 2.4 or 2.8 million of encounters that they've had, not to mention those who possibly got away. Uh, so uh, what is it? Are we are we just going to throw more money at this or are we going to close the border? Of course, you've got uh, the president doing some border wall construction, but he downplays it, says it's not going to work. And the only reason they're doing it is to follow the law, they said, as to uh, the money that's going to be uh, responsible for this. Uh, but also on Sunday, Governor J.B. Pritzker, not only did he say that uh, border politicians need to uh, you know, fix uh, the, the situation by not sending migrants to Chicago uh, or blue states, he also said that uh, they need to do something about this because, quite frankly, it's going to start getting cold. White House and the federal government should be facilitating that. And then folks shouldn't sh should be told that it's going to get cold in Chicago and New York very soon. And there are lots of other places in the country that they might want to consider going. And the White House and the federal government should be facilitating that. Well, if they're going to facilitate that, uh, then those other communities you're looking to send them, they don't have sanctuary city policies. So they may just go ahead and assist in deporting these individuals. Uh, but Mayor Johnson recognizing that uh, it's going to get cold in the city of Chicago, and that's why he says uh, he's got to a backup to the base camp military grade tents that he's got a $30 million contract for. The base camps for asylum seekers, as you have these time constraints, the temperatures are already going to be dropping this weekend. What are you going to do if you can't get those camps up in time to house people? We've stood up a, a shelter, one new shelter every eight days. One shelter every eight days. Hundreds of buses have come since I've been mayor. You know, I, look, I appreciate the spirit of the question. <laughs> this is not just simply about backup. This is about how we front load our efforts to respond to the crises. I've said this repeatedly. Everything is on the table. Brick and mortar, base camps, the state, the federal government. And so I'm going to continue to do the work that I've been charged to do is to make sure that we're speaking to the demands that predate this crisis, and we're doing that, while at the same time doing everything in my power to find more brick and mortar space. I'm asking our business leaders to do this, our philanthropic leaders to find locations, our philanthropic community to lean in and support the mutual aid workers and work, uh, work that's being done on the front lines. And you know we're still moving forward with the base camps. So uh, still moving forward with the base camps, uh, but uh, taking an uh, all-in approach. Does that include closing the border? From the Fly SPI Studios, take the easy way out. WMAY FM, Taylorville, Springfield's News and Talk is 92.7 WMAY. Here's the latest from ABC News. I'm Justin Finch. More than 100 Israelis still missing after the deadly, massive surprise Hamas attack and its aftermath over the weekend. Many of the missing being held hostage, including Sasha Ashayev's sister, Karina. We don't know what they do to them, if they are human with them, if they give them um, any human supplies like food or water or sanitary. And they are girls, you know, they're not men. God knows what they, they are doing to them. Karina Ashayev, a member of the Israeli Defense Forces, was seen on video bloodied and bound after being driven by militants into Gaza. At least four Americans among the dead and unconfirmed reports of Americans also among those taken hostage. ABC's Andrew Dimbert. 
The Israeli military estimates 1,000 Hamas fighters took part in Saturday's attack, breaching Israeli defenses with vehicles, boats, and even hang gliders. Gunmen were rampaging in towns for hours, shooting civilians. ABC News contributor and retired Marine Colonel Steve Gangard with what could happen next. We're sort of in a phase one. Israel continues to root out the Hamas invaders. Phase two will likely involve an Israeli invasion of Gaza. Before that happens, there'll be some tough choices for Netanyahu. He knows that some of the hostages are inside of Gaza. He knows Hamas has reinforced its defenses there. And he knows he can't commit all of the Israeli defense forces just to Gaza and leave his northern flank with Lebanon and Hezbollah vulnerable. This morning, the fighting south of Gaza has ceased, but airstrikes continue in Gaza in the densely populated Jabalia refugee camp. At least 2,000 people killed in the powerful earthquake in western Afghanistan. A senior Taliban delegation visiting the region today. This is ABC News. This is good news, maybe exactly when you need it to. Right now, switching to MediShare can save you even more than usual on top of what you'll save each month by becoming a member of MediShare. So many people are looking for a healthcare solution right now, especially given how inflation is affecting us. And MediShare is the affordable, reliable alternative to health insurance. The typical family saves about $500 a month. You might save even more. And MediShare is a Christian community that's been sharing each other's health care costs for 30 years now, and they're making it easier than ever. Apply by October 31st, and you can save an additional $150 on your first month. I'll give you the number here in a second, but just tell them the promo code SHARE to get your additional savings. Maybe now is the time to make the switch like more than 400,000 people already have and start saving. Here it is. It's 877-26-BIBLE. That's 877-26-BIBLE. 877-26-BIBLE. Whole host of headlines, everything from the migrant situation to the latest violent crime in Chicago. We've got a lot to tackle with William Kelly, the reporter out of the Windy City, about uh, what's going on on the streets up there in Illinois' largest city. So stay tuned. We'll get to that next here with Springfield's Morning News. Also on the docket, got to talk about tipped wages. We've had the conversation before, but looks like uh, they're going to be increasing the overall wage for restaurant staff in Chicago regardless of whether you tip them or not. So stay tuned. We'll get to that as well here on WMAY. It's now 7.04. I'm Greg Bishop. News. Weather. 92.7 WMAY. Springfield's News and Talk. I'm Don Howard. Our top story, optimism that Mack trucks would avoid being struck by the United Auto Workers has evaporated. Union members rejected a tentative five-year contract agreement reached with the company, meaning that they have walked off the job as of this morning. The deal between union and company negotiators had been reached on October the 1st, but 73% of membership turned it down. Statistics show Illinois is among the most dangerous states in the country for vehicle and pedestrian accidents at railroad crossings. A Union Pacific Railroad spokesman says one persistent problem is people taking photos on train tracks for weddings, graduations, and other events. About 50 people a year are killed or seriously injured around railroad tracks in Illinois. Nationwide, a person or vehicle is struck by a train every three hours on average. A recent bank rate survey has found that a significant number of Americans engage in impulse buying on the Internet. A senior analyst for the firm estimates that those impulse purchases amount to some $71 billion a year and that more than half of impulse buyers regret at least one of their purchases. Some social scientists believe that the phenomenon is related to the ease with which those purchases can be made, especially when credit card information is linked to websites. Moving Pillsbury Forward has announced two dates for tours of the former Pillsbury site. The free tours will be given Friday, October 13th and Saturday, October 21st. Site tours will be walking tours of the ground floor area of several of the remaining buildings are designed to be accessible to everyone and will last for approximately 45 minutes. Cameras are permitted, bricks from one of the recently demolished buildings will be available, and an exhibit of history and artifacts from the Springfield Pillsbury plant will be open before and after the tours. More information at WMAY.com. Your WMAY dependable forecast is next on Springfield's News and Talk. 
News brought to you by Illinois Paving. It's paving season, and Illinois Paving is here to help. Call Cousin Bill today for your free estimate. Visit ilpaving.com. Why do residents love Springfield Support of Living? Just ask Mike. I am so glad that I came here. I really appreciate that they have Wi-Fi here because I like playing on my tablet and looking up things and playing games. And I'm just happy that they have that. With an experienced staff every step of the way. I get along with them really well. They're a lot of fun. and It's just been a really good experience. SpringfieldSupportofLiving.com Springfield Supportive Living Are you young enough? The Riverbank Lodge. Stop in Monday through Friday from 11 to 2 p.m. for the best lunch in Petersburg and nightly 4 to midnight where you can enjoy food, drinks, and gaming. Why not stay the night? Ask about our room rates. The Riverbank Lodge, Petersburg. Play slots or try a hand at video poker and win big with Excel Entertainment, Illinois' leading terminal operator. Take a spin with us and have your pick of the hottest games and enjoy the latest upgrades. Gaming as easy as 3 2 win. Powered by Excel Entertainment. Game on. What's for dinner? Burgers? After last week, no thanks. Avoiding foods due to fear of diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools? It may not be just stomach issues. It could be EPI, or exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. EPI can cause uncomfortable symptoms because it's a condition where the pancreas doesn't release enough digestive enzymes to break down food. But EPI can be managed. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor about your symptoms. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by Abby. If you want a bank safe from anywhere, get the app you can use everywhere. Your money's right in your hand. Nobody loves you like Heartland. Get a loan, pay a bill when you're on the go. Deposit that check right from your phone. Download our app and you can. Nobody loves you like Heartland. We're like a bank. Dependable forecast on 927 WMAY. Highs around 63 today under clear skies. Winds out of the northwest 8 to 15 miles per hour. Clear skies again tonight. Lows around 38. High temperatures reach up to 65. Tomorrow, ample sunshine expected. Upper 60s Wednesday with a chance for scattered storms. Turning warmer Thursday with highs in the mid 70s. Chance for storms continues. I'm meteorologist Jennifer Wojcicki. Currently, it's 38. So when was the last time you saw a best deal guarantee? You mean a promise that actually held up? Right. That some unknown online entity didn't want you to log in and download a code and then re-verify as you join some club? Drives you nuts, I know. And then once you purchase that set of steak knives? Well, Dick Van Dyke Appliance World is a lot simpler. You find a verified great deal and they beat it. Just show them the deal you saw. A newspaper clipping or the online cart price will do, and then you're good. At Dick Van Dyke Appliance World, it's one of those instances where you see a best deal guarantee and... You get the best deal. This is Dennis Rekin, chairman of Dick Van Dyke Appliance World. Our exclusive 10-year protection plan comes free with most appliance purchases. Whether it's a GE, Whirlpool, Frigidaire, Bosch, or any of our 30 brands, I guarantee we will beat any competitor's deal. Wow! Dick Van Dyke Appliance Join the fight against cancer at Denim and Diamonds 2023. This year's gala is Saturday, October 14th at the Crown Plaza Springfield. As always, all money raised stays right here in central Illinois, supporting local cancer research and patient comforts at Simmons Cancer Institute at SIU School of Medicine. Tickets and tables are available at siumed.edu slash cancer. Denim and Diamonds is sponsored by Quick and Easy, Memorial Health, Simmons Hanley Conroy, Isringhausen Imports, Jeff and Tina Bennett, Roland and Linda Foles, and the Noonan Patton Group at Merrill Lynch. Hey, you, the one on the couch who just told your friend you can't go out because you're busy? Ready to get real about your psoriasis? When your current treatments don't do enough to help control the inflammation beneath the skin, causing plaques and pain, stressing and scratching, it's time to stop hiding and get real with your dermatologist so they can help you get clear. Get real clear about psoriasis at letsgetrealclear.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Springfield's Morning News with Greg Bishop, broadcasting from the Fly SPI Studios. Take the easy way out. 927 WMAY. Springfield's News and Talk.
Violent crime doesn't just happen on the weekends up in Chicago, but after a weekend, it gives us a bit of an idea to sit back and just tally all this up, and it's quite remarkable what people have to endure in the Windy City when you look at these headlines. Eight people shot during exchange of gunfire early Sunday morning in River North, according to police. That's the Chicago Tribune headline. Another one, four police officers hurt in traffic crash following shooting outside police station. That incident began with a shooting outside the 3rd District, according to police. Two critically wounded in a shooting after an argument turns physical in Auburn Grisham. Also, uh, you've got other headlines, including this just absolutely tragic story. A tow truck driver and Navy veteran was killed on the job in Chicago. 27-year-old Jack Jacobson had been responding uh, to a Land Rover repossession. Soon after, he was found shot to death in his tow truck after being ambushed by a large group of people. Police said the front windshield was riddled with bullets. Investigators now pulling video from the city pod camera there, uh, as the uh, and also tow truck cameras uh, for for other clues. Uh, but this individual is also expecting the uh, the birth of their first child. So just tragic stories uh, stacked on top of the ongoing humanitarian issue of the migrants in Chicago. And it's going to get cold. Are they going to be living in base camp tents after uh, having to stay in uh, you know the the city's police stations and various other accommodations with the growing taxpayer cost? Obviously, a lot going on in Chicago. And joining us to give us a uh, the latest is William Kelly. A reporter uh, who has the latest on the streets. William, uh, hopefully you're safe up there, man. Well, thank you, Greg. God bless you. And, uh, well, is anybody safe up here? It, it, it was third world, and it's getting worse. I mean, what's worse than third world? I'm, I'm, I guess, uh, uh, you know, we had, we, we had barely recovered, or I would say we did not recover from the lockdowns and the looting of Lightfoot, uh, only to be immediately thrust into the uh, the, quote, migrant crisis and violent crime uh, epidemic of, of Mayor Johnson. You know, as you said, uh, we had 40-plus shootings this weekend, right? Well, you know, that is, uh, even that's a little deceptive because 30-plus of those, of those shootings took place in a 24-hour period. Um, you know, when you consider the fact that, that uh, I mean, just, Statistically speaking, okay, let's look at this. Well, uh, you have far fewer people in downtown Chicago, uh, people not returning to the, to the office, uh, et cetera. Um, so if you have fewer people just roaming the streets of Chicago, and then you have, and then, but yet more of these people are being robbed or raped or murdered than, uh, than usual, then that means that statistically speaking, you if you're in Chicago, you are at a, a much greater risk of being the victim of a violent crime. Um, you know, you mentioned River North. River North is the postcard uh, version of Chicago. When people around the world think of Chicago, they think of that postcard. You know, the, 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 the city all lit up. That's River North. Well, you know, a, a, a restaurant right in the, you know, Right downtown, a block uh, away from my office, uh, eight people were shot for uh, are in critical condition. Uh, the 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 video is um, you know it's like something out of a terrorist uh, video uh, that, that would happen in a in, a, in another country, uh, just walking down the street, unloading his uh, you know his uh, his weapon, Greg. You know, I think uh, some of the videos that are being posted from surveillance cameras or right. just from people's cell phones, uh, it's its pretty remarkable to see. Uh, but, William, I do want to get your, your thoughts on uh, a few things here on the crime stats. I'm looking at yep. the Chicago Police Crime Statistics right now. Uh, and uh, it shows that uh, in the past seven days, murder is up 9%, but shootings are down about 7%. That's just the last seven days. Uh, however, mm-hmm. over the past month, uh, murder is down 38%. Uh, shootings are down 19%, but you've got an increase mm-hmm. in robbery and uh, aggravated battery. Uh, in the four-year mm-hmm. average, nearly every crime statistic is up except for aggravated bag- battery and burglary. Uh, murder Murders up 19% in the past four years, shooting incidents up 17%, and motor vehicle theft in the past four years up 228%. Uh, So, I mean, looking at pre-COVID numbers to now, uh, are things getting better or worse? 
Well, clearly they're getting worse. And, uh, you know, hearing you recite the, you know, the shooting, the <laughs> shootings are down statistic reminded me of uh, kind of almost PTSD style of uh, trying to ask Mayor Lightfoot about shootings, mass shootings, multiple mass shootings in Chicago on, on a weekly basis. And uh, having her tell me that shootings were down. Uh, the, ir- the irony of that, though, is that it was because of those exchanges uh, and that I, I'm being told from a, from people who even worked on her campaign that she lost her bid for re-election because the average citizen was like, wait, the mayor thinks shootings are down? You know, there's 70 shell casings in front of my house. What are you talking about? You know, um, I even spoke with uh, a gentleman uh, who works for the city who said that, uh, you know, that it's a scandal how they even uh, – hose down these crime scenes, uh, they should be using some kind of special bleach because uh, what a lot of Chicagoans don't realize is that they just hose hose down the sidewalk, the blood off the sidewalk, and a lot of Chicagoans are just tracking through blood, brain matter, uh, you know, shell casings, lead, you know, like they're walking through a a shooting range and they don't even realize their dog is, uh, you know, sniffing brain matter on the the sidewalk. You know, it's... uh, it really is a scandal in and of itself. Uh, you know, people don't even realize uh, the bloodborne, you know, uh, 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 you know, blood, uh, you know, um, pathogens that you know, and, and hepatitis and other things that you can get from having just blood, pools of blood on the sidewalk. So this is, uh, you know, the, the city of Chicago is is failing uh, in every metrics uh, that you could possibly think of, and, and maybe even a few that the average person wouldn't even think of. Uh, and, uh, and on top of it, we have now so many armed robberies, uh, specifically in the north side, where you have these crews that will do, commit 12, 15, 20 robberies, uh, armed robberies of people, you know, gun to the head, um, in an hour, you know, on the north side. And so it's not like this is even news. The police, you know, should know about this. They should be, uh, they should be on top of this. Uh, for whatever reason, they're, you know, they're not. Um, and, uh, and now my, my sources are telling me and within the police department to expect gang, uh, not only gang, uh, turf war so over, over who, who gets to rob, uh, Chicagoans in what, uh, on what streets at what time of the day. This is, this is, you know, this is where, where we're headed. William Kelly with us uh, finally here. Of course, we've got the uh, compounding issues of the migrant crisis with the uh, mayor still looking to do the base camp style tents, yeah. but he's looking at uh, brick and mortar. Uh, you had uh, the mayor make comments about going to the southern border um, yeah. soon, uh, but when that's going to happen, we shall see. Uh, he doesn't seem to be as uh, forceful as New York City Mayor Eric Adams is about sh- trying to shut down the idea of a sanctuary city uh but you even have the governor being asked about the uh, democrat national convention happening next year in chicago and what that ultimately is going to look like here he is on face the nation and i want to get your thoughts on this uh with william kelly standing by to uh, react to uh, the ideas that uh, governor jb pritzker has here the democratic conventions in chicago next year are you confident that your city and your state are going to have a better grasp on it by this time I am confident that we can handle it, but again, it will require help from the federal government and someone needs to work in Texas with these border politicians to have them stop sending people only to blue cities and blue states. And the president of the United States and the White House has the ability to help disperse folks across the country. That will help a lot. So, William, uh, your thoughts there on um, what could possibly happen uh, next what summer? Could possibly, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, well, it is a bizarre world uh, to hear the governor of Illinois uh, talking about this migrant crisis. Uh, first of all, as if these migrants are from Texas. They're not from Texas. They're from uh, Venezuela. So referring to them as, as Texans you know, uh, uh, just shows that there is some disconnect with the truth. Uh, to begin with. But, you know, the idea that his priority is, is just money uh, for the DNC, uh, what's going to make, there is no amount of money that's going to be able to cover up the, uh, the homeless, the, uh, the, the violent crime epidemic, the, uh, and, and, this, and this migrant crisis. 
you know, we're uh, scheduled to receive 25 buses per day uh, of migrants. Uh, we aren't even uh, scratching the surface of the crimes that these migrants are committing in the city of Chicago. Uh, and and they're committing them out in front of police stations. That horrible uh, incident that you uh, that you referred to at the top of, of the segment of police officers uh, critically injured uh, as a result of uh, chasing suspects after a shootout in front of a police station, that was uh, that was migrant related. Those officers, you know, but for this migrant crisis, they wouldn't uh, be in in, the, in critical condition today. Um, you know, these stories are are uh, you know, but for you know your show, uh, very few people, uh, certainly around the state would even know the magnitude uh, and of, 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 the, of, these, of these issues, the violence uh, uh, that is taking place, and the really bizarre response of our, of, our, of our leaders, our elected leaders. They want more money to solve these problems. They don't want to, you know, Pritzker didn't go on Face the Nation and say, please, Pres- President Biden, close the border. He said, Please, President Biden, send me more money uh, for for your uh, your your Democrat National Convention party in Chicago. That is the, those priorities are are so uh, so askew that it it's like living in some kind of a bizarre world to, to hear our leaders uh, prioritize money for a Democrat National Convention over the safety of Chicagoans. William J. Kelly, reporter out of Chicago, greatly appreciate your time, uh, and uh, we'll definitely be talking again in the very near future. All right, be safe up there. God bless. Thank you, Greg. It is Springfield's Morning News on 92.7 WMAY, Springfield's News and Talk. Follow me anywhere, just search Bishop on air, and follow William Kelly anywhere, just search William J. Kelly, reporter, uh, and you'll be able to, to follow along. All right, 723. Got to take a break. First, your forecast. Today, we're looking at sunny skies, the high of 63, the low down to 38. Tomorrow, Tuesday, we've got sunny skies, 65 the high, with a chance of showers Tuesday evening, the low of 43. Wednesday, showers likely, the high of 70. Thursday, mostly sunny with a high of 75. Right now, 36 degrees with the sun out. It's starting to come out a bit. Uh, at 723 from Culver's West on Wabash. It's time to apply at Culver's West on Wabash. We're hiring all positions. And did we mention free food? Only at Culver's West on Wabash. Hey, it's Breeze Airways, the seriously nice airline that wants to fly you to your next vacation. Fly nonstop from Abraham Lincoln Capital Airport in Springfield to Orlando and Tampa Bay faster and easier than ever before. We don't charge change or cancellation fees, so you can book with complete peace of mind. Go to flybreeze.com or download the Breeze app to book your trip. Breeze Airways, seriously nice. know what to do when a car is pulled over on the side of the road? First, reduce your speed. Second, change lanes if possible. Third, proceed with caution. These three simple steps can be the difference between life and death. The next time you're on the road, do the right thing. Slow down, move over, and drive like your life and their life depends on it. Sponsored by the Illinois Broadcasters Association. Aired in cooperation with this station. Thanks to the AAA Auto Club for their financial support in the airing of this message. One of the easiest things you can do to prevent getting stranded tomorrow is check your battery today. Hi, it's Laurie from Rex Battery. If you can take about five minutes out of your day, we can make absolutely sure your car battery is ready before winter. Just pull into Rex and we'll not only test the battery, but we'll make sure your alternator is doing its important job. Just because your car is running well now doesn't mean it's going to start when the temp drops. If you find your battery is near the end of its life, Rex Battery has car batteries for every make and model on the road. And more often than not, we have them for less than other places. Batteries are all we do, and we want to make sure yours is strong before winter hits. Just pull into Rex Battery anytime and ask for a free battery test. Rex Battery, Clear Lake, west of Dirksen. What's for dinner? Burgers? After last week? No thanks. Avoiding foods due to fear of diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools? It may not be just stomach issues. It could be EPI. 
or exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. EPI can cause uncomfortable symptoms because it's a condition where the pancreas doesn't release enough digestive enzymes to break down food. But EPI can be managed. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor about your symptoms. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by Abby. Jesse Kelly here. Do you feel protected? My personal protection plan is owning gold. The Oxford Gold Group helps you buy gold to have on hand or convert it into your 401k. If things get weird, I have gold on hand. I like that. You can buy coins or convert part of your 401k with the Oxford Gold Group. It's easy and safe. 833-995-GOLD. That's 833-995-GOLD. 833-995-G-O-L-D. So when was the last time you saw a best deal guarantee? You mean a promise that actually held up? Right. That some unknown online entity didn't want you to log in and download a code and then re-verify as you join some club? Drives you nuts, I know. And then once you purchase that set of steak knives? Well, Dick Van Dyke Appliance World is a lot simpler. You find a verified great deal and they beat it. Just show them the deal you saw. A newspaper clipping or the online cart price will do, and then you're good. At Dick Van Dyke Appliance World, it's one of those instances where you see a best deal guarantee and... You get the best deal. This is Dennis Rekin, chairman of Dick Van Dyke Appliance World. Our exclusive 10-year protection plan comes free with most appliance purchases. Whether it's a GE, Whirlpool, Frigidaire, Bosch, or any of our 30 brands, I guarantee we will beat any competitor's deal. Wow! Dick Van Dyke There are many reasons to buy a Verlo mattress. We've narrowed it down to the eight great reasons to choose Verlo. Reason number seven, Verlo to go. With Verlo's bed in a box, you can easily take a queen or king mattress, load it into your car, and be on your way. Easy peasy. If you live out of town and prefer to have it shipped, we can do that. The best part, you can try it before you buy it. Quick, convenient, comfortable. For a list of all eight great reasons and our current sale, Google us or like us on Facebook. At Verlo, we custom make every mattress specific to your needs because having to dial in a special number for your side of the bed sounds like math. And nobody likes math, but everyone likes sleep. So let us make you a mattress that's perfectly customized for both of your needs. They want plush, you want firm, you got it. They like memory foam, you're more of the classic type. No problem, at Verlo, we have answers, not algebra. American made, locally crafted, welcome to Verlo. Listen and watch the interviews with today's newsmakers on Facebook and YouTube. Like and subscribe now. Springfield's Morning News with Greg Bishop on 927 WMAY. Shout out to all of those volunteer firefighters. You are a um, absolute wonderful blessing for the community. But you're in need of more. That's according to uh, some of observers and those in the firefighting industry that uh, there's a shortage and uh, there need to be more firefighters. Welcome back. Springfield's Morning News on WMAY. With volunteerism on the decline nationwide, Illinois finding itself with a shortage of volunteer firefighters reaching a critical level. Kevin Schott, vice president of the Illinois Firefighters Association, he talks about the shortage and uh, just exactly where they're at as the call intensifies for residents to get involved with their local fire departments to ensure that they have the emergency first responders there, not just dealing with fires. I'm not going to say 100% of the state. Some departments are doing a good job of recruiting and retention, but overall, uh, we're at a critical point in the state of Illinois. Now, firefighters uh, don't just deal with fires. They deal with accidents on the side of the road. They deal with medical uh, responses that are necessary. They deal with mutual aid. Uh, and uh, some of the, uh, the the numbers are rather fascinating. They almost deal with more mutual aid and, and medical emergencies and roadside emergencies uh, than they deal with fires a lot of times. But uh, Kevin Schott, uh, he, he cautioned the problem's not as severe elsewhere, but it's still in many places getting worse and there needs to be some kind of remedy. Um, one of the reasons, uh, listen, families uh, demand time. You've got money issues. You've got a bunch of other factors that might keep people from volunteering. You don't just sign up and jump on the big red truck and, and go put water on, on the fire. There's a considerable amount of training that has to be done in the state of Illinois. 
But they're also looking at uh, tax credits. They're writing the rules right now for volunteer firefighters to get a tax credit uh, from the state of Illinois. Those uh, those rules coming together. Uh, but they're also looking to uh, get more incentives across the finish line at the Illinois State House to incentivize firefighters. We're going to be working with the legislators more in the upcoming year uh, to see what we can do for some incentives. So what is that going to look like? Well, uh, we'll see. Um, we'll be tracking that. But for community members who never imagined themselves helping out a fire department, uh, it's as simple as just letting them know that you're there backing them up. You don't have to get on a truck. Sometimes in the middle of winter, somebody making coffee for the firefighters is a is a godsend. So think about that next time uh, you hear a story about uh, volunteer firefighters uh, wanted. All right. So just wanted to pass that note along to you. Uh, Again, firefighters and volunteer firefighters, especially in the rural areas, uh, much needed. Uh, And uh, if you've got the time and the uh, uh, the willingness to to vote that amount of time needed uh, to help your community, uh, definitely consider that. 732. It is Springfield's Morning News. I'm Greg Bishop on WMAY. And coming back, we'll talk about tipped wages city of chicago moving to get rid of tipped wages every restaurant employee is going to make a minimum wage will they get tips on top of that will you tip on top of that stay tuned we'll get to that next here on wmay 732 now and uh, let's check some headlines 927 wmay here are the three big things you need to know I'm Don Howard. Our top story, Governor J.B. Pritzker joined Face the Nation yesterday to speak about the lack of federal action on asylum seekers and refugees. He talked about challenges faced by Chicago with the influx of people who do not have adequate support while awaiting disposition of asylum and refugee claims. Pritzker has urged that the Biden administration move more aggressively and lamented the fact that chaos in the House of Representatives, as well as GOP opposition to comprehensive immigration reform, has created challenges in confronting the situation in an orderly fashion. Sangamon County Toys for Tots has kicked off its annual campaign, an initiative aimed at ensuring every child has toys for the holiday season. The Toys for Tots program works in collaboration with the United States Marine Corps and asks community members, partners, and friends to donate new unwrapped toys at one of their collection boxes located in Sangamon County. A list of locations can be found at WMAY.com. A recent Gallup poll shows that 63% of Americans say a third major party is needed because the Republican and Democratic parties do such a poor job of representing the people. More Republicans and Democrats support the idea, and unsurprisingly, the idea is most popular with independents. Gallup noted that these results come at a time of frustration with the two major parties' likely candidates, Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Washington, D.C. Attorney General Brian Schwab has subpoenaed two groups' tax records while investigating their compliance with nonprofit tax laws, but has received vastly different responses. Leonard Leo, whose nonprofits spent millions of dollars campaigning for the nominations of conservative Supreme Court justices, as well as advocating in cases before them, has refused to comply, claiming they were organized outside of D.C., Politico reports that Leo's consulting firm, CRC Advisors, is registered in D.C., and his main aligned nonprofit, the 85 Fund, used a D.C. mailing address for at least a decade. Arabella Advisors, a left-leaning consulting firm founded by a former Clinton official, said in a statement that the group complies with the law and will cooperate with the inquiry. Their lawyer said that they are confident that their work conforms with legal and regulatory requirements. Sunday's Chicago Marathon ended with a new world record. Kelvin Kiptum finished the race in 2 hours 35 seconds, breaking the record of another Kenyan runner by 34 seconds. The winner of the women's race, Sifan Hassan of the Netherlands, finished in 2 hours 13 minutes 44 seconds, the second fastest ever for a woman and less than 2 minutes behind the world record. Optimism that Mack trucks would avoid being struck by the United Auto Workers has evaporated. Union members rejected a tentative five-year contract agreement reached with the company, meaning that they have walked off the job as of this morning. The deal between union and company negotiators had been reached on October the 1st, but 73% of the membership turned it down. Your WMAY dependable forecast is next on Springfield's News and Talk. News sponsored by Just Beds. A great night's sleep starts with a visit to the yawn exterminators at Just Beds, online at justbedsinc.com. On the battlefield, there's a saying America's military men and women live by. Never leave a fallen warrior behind, ever. 
Off the battlefield, Wounded Warrior Project operates with the same goal. Wounded Warrior Project was created to help our men and women returning home with the scars of war, whether those scars are physical or mental. Wounded Warrior Project, we never leave a fallen warrior behind, ever. Learn more about what we do at WoundedWarriorProject.org. So when was the last time you saw a best deal guarantee? You mean a promise that actually held up? Right. That some unknown online entity didn't want you to log in and download a code and then re-verify as you join some club? Drives you nuts, I know. And then once you purchase that set of steak knives? Well, Dick Van Dyke Appliance World is a lot simpler. You find a verified great deal and they beat it. Just show them the deal you saw. A newspaper clipping or the online cart price will do, and then you're good. At Dick Van Dyke Appliance World, it's one of those instances where you see a best deal guarantee and... You get the best deal. This is Dennis Rekin, chairman of Dick Van Dyke Appliance World. Our exclusive 10-year protection plan comes free with most appliance purchases. Whether it's a GE, Whirlpool, Frigidaire, Bosch, or any of our 30 brands, I guarantee we will beat any competitor's deal. Wow! Dick Van Dyke Appliance To protect his home and family from disaster, Steve used courage, wisdom, and his camera phone. That should do it. Way to go, Steve! By simply taking digital pictures of his family's important documents, Steve can always have them stored safely online, no matter when disaster strikes. Learn other simple ways to protect your home and family before a natural disaster at ready.gov. That's ready.gov. A message from FEMA and the Ad Council. Now, your dependable forecast on 927 WMAY. Highs around 63 today under clear skies. Winds out of the northwest, 8 to 15 miles per hour. Clear skies again tonight, lows around 38. High temperatures reach up to 65. Tomorrow, ample sunshine expected. Upper 60s Wednesday with a chance for scattered storms. Turning warmer Thursday with highs in the mid 70s. Chance for storms continues. I'm meteorologist Jennifer Wojcicki. Currently, it's 38. You've seen the big-name celebrities on TV pushing Medicare plans. That 800 number connects you with a different voice every time. Somebody that doesn't know what works best here in central Illinois. Make Medicare easy. Contact Sullivan Financial of Chatham. They can provide a no-cost comparison of those same plans and help find the best one that fits you. Annual enrollment is October 15th through December 7th. Sullivan Financial of Chatham. Find us on Facebook or online at SullivanFinance.com. Join the fight against cancer at Denim and Diamonds 2023. This year's gala is Saturday, October 14th at the Crown Plaza Springfield. As always, all money raised stays right here in central Illinois, supporting local cancer research and patient comforts at Simmons Cancer Institute at SIU School of Medicine. Tickets and tables are available at siumed.edu slash cancer. Denim and Diamonds is sponsored by Quick and Easy, Memorial Health, Simmons Hanley Conroy, Isringhausen Imports, Jeff and Tina Bennett, Roland and Linda Foles, and the Noonan Patton Group at Merrill Lynch. Texting rolls you recurring automated marketing text messages. Consent not required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. <sighs> Leaving for the gym so early? I'm ready to go. Since you started taking Nugenix Total T, you've been acting like when we met in our 20s. I feel like myself again. Lower testosterone after turning 40 slowed me down. Nugenix Total T has been a game changer for me. What is it about Nugenix Total T that's different? Well, it's a patented key ingredient called Testofen. It boosts free and total testosterone to help you get back the drive and energy from your youth. It's backed by five clinical studies. I've seen the huge difference it's made for you in the gym, at work, and in the bedroom. I'm so glad I sent them a text for my complimentary bottle. Text HUNK to 321321 right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenics Total Tea. Nugenics is the number one selling testosterone boosting brand at GNC and Walmart. Do it now and we'll also send you a bottle of Nugenics Thermo X, our newest, most powerful fat burner ever. Absolutely free. Text HUNK to 321321. That's HUNK to 321321. Springfield's Morning News with Greg Bishop. Broadcasting from the Fly SPI Studios. Take the easy way out. 927 WMAY. Springfield's News and Talk. The city of Chicago being the first largest city of its kind to independently get rid of the sub-minimum wage for tipped workers. 
And that's the wage that workers that work at restaurants where you tip the server and sit down service. They come and take your order. They tell you what the special is. They bring your food out from the window. They then help get your refills and so on. Well, in Chicago, uh, they're phasing out that tipped wage, uh, which is lower than the minimum wage. But I don't think people necessarily understand restaurants are meant to make up the wage if they don't make enough tips. So if you're a server and you go in and you have a ton of tables and you're making a ton of tips, then you get paid by the restaurant sub minimum wage. Uh, it's not the minimum wage, it's a sub minimum wage because likely if you have a lot of business, you're going to be making well over the minimum wage with those tips. Now, there are some times where it's just not busy and the restaurant, for whatever reason, be it too nice outside or be it, you know, there's a convention across town that's taking all of the business, whatever the case may be. Sometimes a server doesn't make the minimum wage with the amount of tips they get for their hours that they work. So a restaurant, by law, is to make up that amount of difference uh, between the tipped wage and the minimum wage if the server cannot claim tips that are more and above beyond the actual minimum wage. So there's already that in law. It's a state law. It happens in every state. And it's something that the Department of Labor uh, has to deal with if there are complaints. So there's still that law. But that aside, uh, Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson holding a news conference on Friday, announcing that indeed Chicago is becoming the largest U.S. city to independently abolish the sub-minimum wage. Here is uh, Johnson spelling out why he thinks that this is uh, all part of bringing about what they call one fair wage. And I want to ask you at 217-629-7970, your thoughts on this. Is this going to uh, essentially bring down uh, the expectations of good service when it comes to what you get at a sit-down restaurant? Today is an historic day for the city of Chicago as we've passed the One Fair Wage Ordinance. This legislation is the culmination of years of advocacy and outreach by the One Fair Wage Coalition restaurant workers, and advocates. The ordinance embodies Chicago's values of uplifting working people and addressing systemic inequities in the restaurant and hospitality industry, which in turn will create a better economic future for tip workers and our city. Over the next five years, The wages of tip workers, such as servers, bartenders, bussers, and runners, will increase 8% per year year until it reaches parity with Chicago's standard hourly minimum wage of $15.80 per hour. (laughs) By increasing wages, we can address the restaurant industry's staffing crisis, increase opportunities for youth employment, and create a safer and more welcoming working environment. We can also uplift communities and the black and brown women and workers who make up much of this workforce, and many of the people who are standing in support with us today. These are heads of households and anchors of communities who are finally receiving a bit more of the respect and dignity that they deserve. In addition to this legislation, One Fair Wage, a national nonprofit organization, has committed to providing capacity building grants to small women and minority owned businesses to support this transition and restaurants that may be impacted. One Fair Wage also will continue to participate with restaurants in training and grants to help them build the infrastructure that's needed to manage this incredible historic day. So again, uh, having what he calls one fair wage, and I'd love to hear your thoughts at 217-629-7970. Again, 217-629-7970. Do you think this is going to uh, increase the level of service you get, or is it going to decrease expectations 
of the types of service that you get. Now, Michael Saltzman, he's executive director of the Employment Policies Institute, and he says that uh, this is just not going to work out as uh, the supporters believe that it will work out. The mayor's got no idea what he's talking about. The only thing that's going to happen here is it's going to drive servers outside of the city because they're going to find themselves earning less than they did before. So that's a that's a question. Are you going to tip uh, if you know that these servers are making the minimum wage? Uh, and Saltzman goes on to say that uh, around the country, uh, restaurant owners and uh, restaurant workers have pushed back against this idea. First and foremost, because it's bad for the workers. Tipped workers around the country have rallied against this kind of policy because what it means is fewer job opportunities and less income. So let's uh, get your thoughts at 217-629-7970. Good morning. You're on WMAY. Hey, Bishop. Uh, So he's going to fix a problem that isn't a problem. Well, he's, he's, he's addressing a problem. Wage. He's addressing a problem that groups of people who want to unionize restaurant workers to essentially bring them all to the same level, uh, and that, you know this idea of what he calls one I fair don't think wage. It'll affect the service you get, uh, but I do think what'll happen: prices will go up in restaurants, and because of that, people will tip less. So they'll probably end up making less money. Yeah, and that's what uh, some of the uh, the opponents to this idea from the Employment Policy Institute says uh, the servers are likely to make less money. So you you you'll still tip on top, just not as much. Is that a question for you? Two one seven six two nine seven nine seventy. I want to hear from you. Are you gonna tip on top of this server class getting the minimum wage eventually after eight years? And what about the restaurant? owners uh how are they going to be impacted by this as the uh the caller intimated uh could mean increased prices i listen i I worked as a as a server for years i worked as a bartender for years and made good money doing it uh now obviously it's uh, it's hard work it's not something that uh everybody could do uh but uh you know if you're good at it then you made good money it was merit based uh but will having quote one fair wage take away that merit uh, good morning. You're on WMAY. Your thoughts on Chicago being the uh, largest city to phase out uh, the tipped wage. Good morning. Personally, I think it's a it's it's an experiment, honestly, but I think it's rooted in good intentions. Um, I don't. I, I think that the people that are going to tip are going to tip regardless, and it's not going to affect that because I, I don't even think of the server when I'm at a restaurant and tipping. I think of the wait staff. You know, so. Um, I don't think it's going to have a the, the huge negative impact that you know restaurant owners think it'll have or, or things like that. But it'll be an interesting experiment to find out if they're already making minimum wage, even if they don't get tips. They know how to budget for that, and I think the complaint from like a waitstaffer or, or a server is going to be they don't have the extra little bit of money every day. And I've known people who were waiters and servers and everything else for a while, and they like that extra money, but it does make it difficult to budget. So I think the net effect, we'll have to wait and see, but I don't think it's going to be the doom and gloom that a lot of other people think. So you're willing to uh, upend the system as it is now um, that well, seems to work just to experiment? Well, well, does the system really work, though? Because if how many you said that we have to employ government to check on that wage theft that would occur if they're not getting compensated by the restaurant. So is it really working? And if it were working well, would this even be a thing? Well, is what working? The the enforcement of that, the the checks that the Department of Labor has to make. Uh, you know, I got to check the statistics well, on that, but uh, I would imagine. I mean, if it's the law, they they got to be enforcing the law. Yeah, but we have we have major organizations like Walmart that will employ people and pay them sub minimum until they're caught. So we are we are spending government resources, we are spending tax money to enforce something that. You may you may think that a business owner honestly would do that, but I've known plenty of business owners that honestly would not if they knew they could get away with it. And how many complaints do you need? How long does it take 
yeah. for government to get involved for them just to pay back what they should have been paying for. And I think the uh, the Restaurant Association has said, uh, the Illinois Restaurant Association is, has pushed back against this idea of one fair wage saying, well, why don't you just increase enforcement? Uh, give uh, you know the department what they need to go out there and actually enforce this. Uh, instead of uh, requiring, uh, you know, uh, lower expectations for service and increased costs for restaurants, which is going to push the bottom line onto consumers. Well, so what the, what the restaurant association is saying is that taxpayers should foot the bill for them to do what they're supposed to do. So they are moving that burden to everybody when, as a business owner, they're the ones that should be doing that anyway. Well, Liz, I don't think the Restaurant Association is advocating for business owners to not follow the law. I mean, that's not what they're no, saying. No. They're saying no, that, they're that, that the, the law, if the law is going to be in place, then you know enforcement of the law has to be uh, swift and, uh, and, and done thoroughly. Uh, and if that's not being done thoroughly, then that needs to be addressed instead of increasing the wages. I'm just saying you know, that's, that, that's at least the perspective I've heard from the Restaurant Association. And that's awesome. And I believe that from the Restaurant Association when they start filling out I-9s and make sure they're not hiring people that shouldn't be hired. Well, again, uh, the Restaurant Association is going to have their uh, position on this. Uh, will this be a statewide policy? We'll see. Of course, as uh, you mentioned, it, it's kind of an experiment. Uh, so we'll see how it plays out over the next few years in Chicago. But would you say that uh, you'd want to see this implemented statewide? I would like to see it a little further, and I would like to, to for us to go to a system where tips aren't even expected and workers that work for a restaurant or any other business that is successful make a make a living wage. That's what I'd like to see. Well, have you ever worked in the service field in the, as a server? Not as a server. I've worked in, like, fast food, but I've never worked as a server. So I don't have that perspective. I have friends that I've known for 30, 40 years who have, but not myself personally. I tell you, uh, I don't, I, knowing servers, having worked in the service industry as a server, as someone who trained servers, I, I, there are people who make good money uh, based on the merit of being an awesome server. Uh, and I think that they would probably be a little irate if they were uh, kept at one fair wage, as they, uh, as the supporters of this policy up in Chicago call it, uh, because they might just say, you know what, I'm, I'm done. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be put in the same level as that subpar server just out of fairness. Well, they're not because they still can make tips on top of it. Eh, My plan but really, is are you gonna that. be doing that if you know that the, oh. that the server's making twenty bucks an hour? Are you really gonna be tipping on top of that? If I can't afford the tip, I can't afford to eat there. So, yes, I will be tipping. It'll be 20% every time. <laughs> right on. I'm, I'm not making tips on service ever. So. Oh, gotcha. I gotcha. I appreciate the call. Take another one. He had uh, you know, good points, good debate. Appreciate that. Uh, that's what we're doing here with Springfield's Morning News. Uh, one last call before the break. Good morning. Dear good on morning. Go ahead. Yes, I have a suggestion about solving this um, concern about the tips and getting getting a, a valid wage for our waitresses and waiters. Um, at the end of a shift, they clock in their tips. If they don't meet minimum wage for bring home pay that day, then the restaurant picks up that portion. Otherwise, they keep all their tips. So uh, you're you're essentially uh, kind of giving a, a little bit of a different approach than what it is right now statewide, where the restaurant has to make up the wage up to the minimum wage if they don't make those tips. But you're saying if they make more in tips uh, than the minimum wage with this one fair wage, then the excess tips goes back to the restaurant? Nope, goes back to the waitress or the waiter. So and minimally, but that's how it is right getting- now. But that's how it is right now. They keep the cash and all the credit card tips they get. It doesn't go back to the restaurant. But are they getting a minimum wage? Are they getting minimum wage while they're working? No, they're getting the tipped wage, but they're making well over the minimum wage when they get those tips. Right. What I'm suggesting is that no matter what, that waitress or waiter comes home with the minimum wage. If they don't make enough tips, if business isn't good that day, the restaurant picks up the cost of that. Oh, so you're talking daily. You're talking daily daily okay because as it is right now it's you know every pay cycle they they make that's right up so if and i go in on a shift gotcha. and i don't make minimum wage that day yeah the restaurant has to make sure that yeah I and, and that takes wage. a little bit more bookkeeping and something i guess could be done whenever they have to you know uh rectify the uh the drawers at the end of the night uh you kind of know that process if you work in a restaurant appreciate the calls got to take a break though it is springfield's morning news 755 from Culver's West on Wabash. Culver's West on Wabash is hiring for all shifts and all positions. Apply today in person. 
Getting around town can be a challenge for those with disabilities. SMTD's Access Paratransit makes it easy. My name is Michelle Staples and I have been riding Access for almost 24 years. And just how easy is it? All I have to do is call and schedule it and they've got me scheduled. And how would you describe Access in one word? Family, because most of these people are my family. And I love them. For schedules and routes, go to smtd.org. If your checking account doesn't come with discounts at all. First on goods and services, it's time to get more for you checking. More for you checking from Heartland Bank offers 24-hour roadside assistance, cell phone protection, identity theft aid, and discounts on prescriptions and much more. Wherever you go, more for you checking benefits save you money on the things you're already paying for. Visit hbtbank.com and unlock the power of more. More for you checking from Heartland Bank and Trust Company. Member FDIC. Traveling? Volunteering? Spending time with family? What's your retirement look like? With income planning from Fidelity Wealth Management, a dedicated advisor can help you grow and protect your wealth. They'll look at your full financial picture and help you create a flexible strategy that considers things like market conditions and health care expenses. So you can stop worrying about the future and enjoy whatever comes next. Visit fidelity.com slash income planning. Investment minimums apply. Fidelity Brokerage Services member NYSE SIPC. So when was the last time you saw a best deal guarantee? You mean a promise that actually held up? Right. That some unknown online entity didn't want you to log in and download a code and then re-verify as you join some club? Drives you nuts, I know. And then once you purchase that set of steak knives? Well, Dick Van Dyke Appliance World is a lot simpler. You find a verified great deal and they beat it. Just show them the deal you saw. A newspaper clipping or the online cart price will do, and then you're good. At Dick Van Dyke Appliance World, it's one of those instances where you see a best deal guarantee and... You get the best deal. This is Dennis Rekin, chairman of Dick Van Dyke Appliance World. Our exclusive 10-year protection plan comes free with most appliance purchases. Whether it's a GE, Whirlpool, Frigidaire, Bosch, or any of our 30 brands, I guarantee we will beat any competitor's deal. Wow! Dick Van Dyke Appliance there are many reasons to buy a Verlo mattress. We've narrowed it down to the eight great reasons to choose Verlo. Reason number six, we build a double-sided mattress. For those that don't intend to flip their mattress or don't want to spend a bit extra to get a flippable mattress, single-sided mattresses are a good fit, and we have plenty to choose from. However, if you prefer to have a mattress that is flippable so you have a fresh side to use, we give you that option. For a list of all eight great reasons and our current sale, Google us or like us on Facebook. Burlo has a lifetime comfort guarantee because you can't risk it when it comes to that all-important never long enough cozy dreamland we call sleep you can't let something like a mystery made mattress in a box get between you and that much needed shut eye we will adjust the comfort of your mattress for its lifetime and we call that a lifetime comfort guarantee and for that you gotta go to verlo american made locally crafted welcome to verlo Hey, it's Breeze Airways, the seriously nice airline that wants to fly you to your next vacation. Fly nonstop from Abraham Lincoln Capital Airport in Springfield to Orlando and Tampa Bay faster and easier than ever before. We don't charge change or cancellation fees, so you can book with complete peace of mind. Go to flybreeze.com or download the Breeze app to book your trip. Breeze Airways, seriously nice. Fly, take the easy way. To protect her home and family in a disaster, Karen was willing to wade through water, mud, and insurance paperwork. Yeah, I can do this. You go, Karen! By simply understanding and updating what her insurance covers and doesn't cover now, she'll be better prepared no matter when disaster strikes. Learn other simple ways to protect your home and family before a natural disaster at ready.gov. That's ready.gov. A message from FEMA and the Ad Council. Do you like gadgets, techie kind of stuff that you can control with your phone? Like your home security system, for instance. If you have a security system and you're not able to control everything with your phone, you're really missing out. With the virtual keypad on your phone, you can even watch your cameras and control other systems in your house besides just the security system from anywhere at any time. Curious? Call the Springfield office of Barcom Security or check out barcomsecurity.com and... 
Have a secure day. From the Fly SPI Studios, take the easy way out. WMAY FM, Taylorville, Springfield's News and Talk is 927 WMAY. Families were desperate to barricade themselves inside homes as militants raided their towns, going door to door looking to kill. And many who weren't killed were then forced into cars, mothers and children and seniors taken back to Gaza as hostages. Hundreds killed at a music festival. No man can escape by running into a field. All the people who got away fast were shot in their in their car. ABC's Ian Panel is in the city of Starot, scene of much of the carnage. We're getting every sense of this brooding battle. We hear the fighter jets, we hear the drones, we hear the explosions every few minutes, but we also see lots of military vehicles moving into this area with a real sense that this could escalate. The death toll so far, more than 700 Israelis, more than 500 Palestinians. There's bipartisan unity in Congress in support of Israel. However, the House still without a speaker as the Republican majority tries to make a decision on its next leader. Police in White Township, Pennsylvania, east of Pittsburgh, looking for multiple gunmen in an early Sunday morning shooting. A 22-year-old man pronounced dead, eight people wounded at a private party inside a local community center. Anti-vaccine activist Robert F. Kennedy Jr. expected today to drop his Democratic bid for president and announce he'll run as an independent. This is ABC News. Embarrassed by ugly yellow toe fungus? Living with toe fungus is, it's embarrassing. I was afraid to take my socks off. I hid my yellow and crumbly toes from everybody. Introducing Crystal Flush. Crystal Flush is the only FDA-registered two-in-one home treatment that attacks your toe fungus from both the inside and out. Crystal Flush's new and different combination system knocks out toe fungus for good, guaranteed. Crystal Flush is different. After just a few weeks, my fungus was gone. I mean, 100% disappeared. Crystal Flush was the only thing that ever worked. So if you're skeptical because you tried a bunch of other stuff, Crystal Flush is different. This is a game changer. Crystal Flush is now available without a prescription, but it is not available in stores. Get your risk-free supply today. Go to crystalflush.com. That's C-R-Y-S-T-A-L flush.com. Stop being embarrassed by ugly yellow toenails. Go to crystalflush.com or call 800-204-4484. All right, Springfield's Morning News on WMAY. Got another hour with you on this Monday. Columbus Day, or is it Indigenous People Day? Or can you have both? We'll get to your calls on that, but also the latest headlines out of Israel. Just absolutely horrifying scenes. As the death toll continues to climb, and what is the response from the United States? Especially as we're giving billions to Ukraine and the threats to Taiwan or South Korea and all the various players from Iran to Russia to China. What is happening here? So we'll get to some of those headlines and try to make some kind of sense out of it. And your phone calls at 217-629-7970. All right, it's 8.04. I'm Greg Bishop. News. Weather. 92.7 WMAY. Springfield's News and Talk. I'm Don Howard. Our top story, Sangamon County Toys for Tots has kicked off its annual campaign, an initiative aimed at ensuring every child has toys for the holiday season. The Toys for Tots program works in collaboration with the U.S. Marine Corps and asks community members, partners, and friends to donate new unwrapped toys at one of their collection boxes located in Sangamon County. More information at WMAY.com. The Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity has announced the conclusion of the Back to Business Restaurants, Hotels, and Arts program with $156 million provided in relief funds. Through these three programs, nearly 4,000 grants went to businesses in over 500 cities, towns, and localities in 95 counties across the state. Over $27 million went to Sangamon County hotels, restaurants, and arts associations. Governor J.B. Pritzker joined Face the Nation yesterday to speak about the lack of federal action on asylum seekers and refugees. He talked about challenges faced by Chicago with the influx of people who do not have adequate support while awaiting disposition of asylum and refugee claims. 
Pritzker has urged that the Biden administration move more aggressively and lamented the fact that the chaos in the House of Representatives, as well as GOP opposition to comprehensive immigration reform, has created challenges in confronting the situation in an orderly fashion. Moving Pillsbury Forward has announced two dates for tours of the former Pillsbury site. The free tours will be given Friday, October 13th and Saturday, October 21st. Site tours will be walking tours of the ground floor area of several of the remaining buildings are designed to be accessible to everyone and will last for approximately 45 minutes. Cameras are permitted, bricks from one of the recently demolished buildings will be available, and an exhibit of history and artifacts from the Springfield Pillsbury plant will be open before and after the tours. More information at WMAY.com. WMAY Dependable Forecast is next on Springfield's News and Talk. I'm Meredith Boley, pediatrician at SIU Medicine. By my name, it says doctor, but it should also say partner, advocate, neighbor, even friend. Because our patients not only get exceptional medicine, the newest technology, the brightest minds, they also get someone who cares about them, champions their lives and our community. The journey to good health isn't taken alone, so our patients never have to. Learn more at siumed.org. For over a decade, Simply Safe has revolutionized home security, and our latest advancement is here 24 7 LiveGuard protection, only from Simply Safe. Now, monitoring agents can see and speak to intruders through our new indoor camera to help stop crime in real time and for fast police response. Get 20% off any new system with Fast Protect monitoring at simplysafe.com slash radio. Advanced home security, 24 7 professional monitoring for less than a dollar a day. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Texting rules, you can recurring automated marketing text messages. Consent not required to purchase. Message data rates may apply. <laughs> Leaving for the gym so early? I'm ready to go. Since you started taking Eugenics Total Tea, you've been acting like when we met in our 20s. I feel like myself again. Lower testosterone after turning 40 slowed me down. Eugenics Total Tea has been a game changer for me. What is it about Eugenics Total Tea that's different? Well, it's a patented key ingredient called Testofin. It boosts free and total testosterone to help you get back the drive and energy from your youth. It's backed by five clinics studies. I've seen the huge difference it's made for you in the gym, at work, and in the bedroom. I'm so glad I sent them a text for my complimentary bottle. Text HUNK to 321321 right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenix Total Tea. Nugenix is the number one selling testosterone boosting brand at GNC and Walmart. Do it now and we'll also send you a bottle of Nugenix Thermo X, our newest, most powerful fat burner ever. Absolutely free. Text H-U-N-K to 321321. That's HUNK to 321321. Three, two, one. Now, your dependable forecast on 927 WMAY. Clear skies today with highs around 63. Northwest winds 8 to 15 miles per hour. Clear skies again tonight. Lows sit down to about 38. Highs around 65. Tomorrow, bright sunshine expected. Upper 60s Wednesday with a chance for scattered storms. Turning warmer Thursday with highs in the mid 70s and scattered showers. I'm meteorologist Jennifer Vujitsky. Currently, it's 41. Weather sponsored by BLH Computers in Springfield, Jacksonville, and Taylorville. Online at blhcomputers.com. You've seen and heard the pitches for zero premium advantage plans. They sound too good to be true, but they're not. Today's advantage plan includes medical and prescription coverage, dental and vision and hearing benefits, and even no cost gym memberships. And you get to keep all your doctors. Medicare's annual enrollment is October 15th through December 7th. Find out if an Advantage plan is right for you at Sullivan Financial. Make Medicare easy. Sullivan Financial of Chatham. Find us on Facebook or online at SullivanFinance.com. Looking for a fun way to win up to 25 times your money this football season? Test your skills on Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projection for a wide variety of statistics, and place your entry. It's as easy as that. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps. Easy gameplay, quick withdrawals, and an enormous selection of players and stat options are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Ready to test your skills? Join the Prize Picks community of more than 7 million football fans who have already signed up. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com slash primetime and use code primetime. That's code primetime at prizepicks.com slash primetime for a first deposit matchup to $100. 
Prize Picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. Must be present in certain states. Visit prizepicks.com for restrictions and details. Time to move inside and make your home warm and cozy. Hendrix Home Furnishings is having a fall sale on all things homey. Cozy up on a new sofa or sectional. Relax and unwind with comfy recliners or stylish chairs. Pick out a new fireplace console to complement your seasonal decor. Settle in for a gathering at your new dining or kitchen table. Don't miss out on our limited time fall offers. Just a short drive to Vermont on Route 4. Hendrix Home Furnishings has everything you need to create a warm and inviting space. Springfield's Morning News with Greg Bishop, broadcasting from the Fly SPI Studios. Take the easy way out. 927 WMAY. Springfield's News and Talk. The heartache out of Israel this morning and all throughout the weekend is just um, rather unbearable especially when you see the videos being shared on social media and just the overall chaos from Hamas terrorists breaching Israel's borders and seeming to be indiscriminate as to the murders that they're committing of elderly women and children and music festival goers and going house to house. It's just uh, staggering. Hostages being taken. All eyes on what Hamas is doing, where they're getting their weapons, where they're getting their funding. And some even criticizing uh, the U.S. foreign policy under the Biden administration of giving Iran billions of dollars. Plus, what about the weapons that were left behind in Afghanistan? Are those somehow trickling into these terrorists' hands? These are obviously some uh, very frightening uh, uh, storylines that we're hearing more and more about, uh, of course, as you uh, have been tracking with ABC News all morning long. Some of the headlines. Uh, Groups gathered downtown in solidarity with Palestine and with Israel. Uh, Opposite groups, uh, and that's uh, happening not just in Chicago, but it happened in New York uh, with the the stories out of Israel and uh, different takes uh, on the streets of the United States. While the U.S. is sending military ships uh, closer to Israel that has declared a state of war. Uh, So a number of U.S. military ships and aircraft being deployed closer to Israel uh, in the near future. And uh, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin Sunday uh, ordering the Ford Carrier Strike Group to sail to the eastern Mediterranean to be ready to assist after Hamas attacked with more than a thousand people dead on both sides. Hamas says it's holding more than 100 people captive from its assault on Israel. Another headline uh, with a senior official from Hamas saying the militant group is uh, holding around 100 people captive. Uh, And uh, those, of course, could possibly include U.S. citizens. But how many U.S. citizens have been killed among the thousand dead on both sides? We don't know that full number quite yet. But Israel's Netanyahu saying that they are at war uh, and uh, the death toll continuing to climb uh, with those uh, Hamas militants uh, in the Gaza Strip uh, and Israel attacking back uh, all throughout the weekend with um, thousands of rockets fired. And uh, growing uh, humanitarian crisis as to uh, some of the targeted areas on both sides of this equation. Uh, Meanwhile, President Joe Biden, here's another headline. He's uh, in a tough spot after that surprise attack, really because of the questions of intelligence failures. Uh, Why didn't we know about this beforehand? I mean, it looked like uh, something out of a Mad Max movie with uh, Hamas militants flying in on paragliders. Uh, and uh, parachuting in elsewhere and uh, seeming to just have this 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 attack be a surprise, you know, I where was the military intelligence? What about, uh, you know, the five eyes uh, and the uh, overall intelligence uh, space that uh, the U.S. shares with other Western countries uh, and Israel being a major ally in the Middle East? Uh, you know, where was their intelligence on this? Uh, So uh, if Iran's involved in the attack, experts worry it's going to spark a regional 
uh, war uh, that uh, really could just spin out of control. Uh, so the other headlines here, and again, you can sound off on all of this at 217-629-7970, uh, or you can email bishoponair at gmail.com. Gaza terrorists say 130 Israelis being held hostage, seeking exchange for Israeli prisoners. A thousand terrorists participated in Sat- Saturday's attack on Israel. Uh, Israel declares war, bombards Gaza, and battles to dislodge Hamas fighters after that surprise attack. Uh, uh, state uh, or U.S. Senator uh, uh, Chuck Schumer, he confirms at least four Americans are killed in that uh, vicious Hamas attack. Another headline. Lawmakers weigh options for Israel assistance as the speakership remains vacant. Uh, so that's something else that's being worked into this equation is, you know, if there's going to be extra assistance more than what's already agreed upon uh, to provide Israel, uh, will there be the efforts at the uh, U.S. Uh, Capitol uh, to do that? Uh, it's not clear what kind of actions the U.S. House can take without uh, having a speaker at the helm following last week's ouster of Kevin McCarthy. So that's also a play here. Um, Biden speaks uh, after the Hamas attack. Republicans criticize the Iran deal. Uh, Israel has the right to defend itself and its people. Full stop, Biden said. Uh, but uh, there's uh, the, the critics who say that uh, Biden giving uh, Iran $6 billion dollars uh, may have uh, just added fuel to the fire here. Uh, so uh, more from uh, this story out of the uh, uh, the, the Epic Times. Uh, Israel military confirmed some Israeli towns under Hamas control after that attack. President Biden confirming uh, that uh, the United States is going to be providing assistance. Uh, but uh, Israel declaring that state of war Saturday. Uh, the Iran-backed Hamas terror group began that assault uh, about 6.30 in the morning their time Saturday. In addition, terrorists breached Israeli borders and began targeting homes, killing and kidnapping civilians. More than 200 Israelis have been killed, 1,000 are critically injured, and actually that number's inflated more since this initial report. Biden says he spoke with uh, Benjamin Netanyahu and conveyed the United States stands with the people of Israel. He didn't respond when asked if there was an intelligence failure in the lead up to the attack, and I think that's crucial here. Uh, Meanwhile, former President Donald Trump put out a statement blaming the Biden administration, saying these Hamas attacks are a disgrace and Israel has every right to defend itself with overwhelming force. Sadly, American taxpayer dollars helped fund these attacks, former President Trump said. We brought so much peace to the Middle East through the Abraham Accords, only to see Biden whittle it away at a far more rapid pace than anyone thought possible. So uh, that's just some of the response here as you've got uh, the uh, growing concerns on how this is going to be handled. Uh, But uh, your thoughts, 217-629-7970, especially with the the ongoing uh, protests uh, you saw in New York and even in Chicago opposing points of view here, those saying that, uh, you know, uh, Palestinians have been on the other side of uh, Israel's... uh, uh, um, you know, aggressions uh, and, and settlements uh, and uh, pointing out that, you know, the Palestinians have been victimized for years over that policy of Israel having settlements in a disputed territory. You've got uh, those supporting Israel's side pushing for, uh, you know, more uh, uh, relief uh, and more assistance from the, the national, uh, from the international community. Uh, but all of this uh, coming to a head over the weekend in an absolutely tragic way. Uh, just heartbreaking, gut-wrenching to see all of these uh, videos coming out of uh, what's happening in Israel. Uh, and uh, the, the, the larger uh, you know, scheme here, what's going on? Why, why all of a sudden now? Uh, why all of a sudden with uh, Iran getting you know billions of dollars and you've got uh, the war in Ukraine uh, getting billions of dollars from the US uh, and uh, you know we're, we're we're in so much debt here in this country are we going to be able to sustain that continued debt especially stacking on the possibility of us getting involved in another ground war uh, on another side of uh, of the, the 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 other side of the world. Uh, so clearly there's uh, some, some really troubling questions in all of this uh, and how we move forward. But uh, you'll be hearing a lot about this over the next, uh, you know, 24 hours 
Uh, but of course, we'll get updated with uh, ABC News at the top of every hour. But it is absolutely gut wrenching as to what's happening over in the Middle East right now. Uh, and why now? Why is it all of a sudden now? And some pointing to, you know, hey, we didn't have this type of thing happening during the Trump administration. You can always do uh, what about isms, but. Yeah, we didn't have, uh, we may have had threats, we may have had heightened rhetoric uh, from these various Middle Eastern actors, but we didn't have this type of action uh, to the degree that we saw over the weekend from Hamas invading uh, Israel. And uh, even some pointing out that uh, Israel's gun control policies uh, may have been uh, short-sighted in all of this. A publication called Bearing Arms says Israel's gun control policies worsened the death toll. Uh, goes on to say that uh, militants attacked several rural communities. Uh, they massacred more than 250 people at a uh, trance music festival with a peace theme. Uh, and uh, we're seeing a lot of these images. Uh, but... Uh, You've got the security lapses that seem to have failed. Uh, bearing arms goes on to say, uh, and uh, also um, you know the various laws uh, listed uh, that uh, that could have uh, you know possibly kept firearms out of people's hands. Uh, you know the the various schemes to uh, license uh, you know to to operate a gun range, mandatory reporting for lost firearms, and uh, surrender of firearms to police upon the expiration of a permit, and so on. Uh, so they're pointing out that uh, the bottom line is Israel's gun control quote looks a lot like New York's or California's gun control before the Bruin decision, except it's much worse. Uh, they go on to say an old 2012 Washington Post article published a few weeks after Sandy Hook said that a a whopping 40% of permit applications are rejected. The uh, article also has this quote from American scholar Janet Ronsbaum. Israel has well-known security concerns, but it limits security to the professionals, they said. Uh, so interesting to see again. Uh, some of the uh, different perspectives there are on all of this. Uh, 217-629-7970. Good morning. You're on WMAY. Um, yes. Um, the Iran deal is not helping. That was that was pure ransom, as far as I'm concerned. Six and billion dollars should have never been made. Yeah. Six billion dollars. Yep, <laughs> enough to fund a terrorist operation. Uh, he, one would think, uh, but even the uh, the White House tried pushing back on that over the weekend, saying that's not the case. But uh, even they had to walk that back a little bit. So we'll see. Oh, I'm sure they had to walk that back. What else have they had to walk back? Yeah, it's uh, pretty incredible. I appreciate the call. Uh, and one thing that uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, um, like her or not, uh, she said she wants to make sure that there are clear audits of uh, the six billion dollars that went to Iran, but also. Uh, she wants audits of all of the firearms and all of the weaponry that was left behind in Afghanistan uh, during the Biden administration when we pulled out of Afghanistan, uh, seemingly suddenly, if you remember that chaos. Uh, and we left, what, $80 billion worth of gear behind? Uh, so Marjorie Taylor Greene, Congresswoman, she wants to make sure that there are audits of all of that equipment to make sure that it's not getting into the hands of terrorists uh, or if it somehow made it into the hands of Hamas, for instance, which would just be absolutely tragic. And it wouldn't be the... Listen, it wouldn't be the first time that the United States funded groups either you know in a roundabout way or uh, even under the table uh, that ultimately came back to, to bite us in the in the rear end. I mean, you remember the Afghan freedom fighters uh, when Russia was invading Afghanistan, we funded them and that turned out to be Al Qaeda. Uh, so you know there's there's a history there of um, a poor hindsight when it comes to our foreign policy in the United States. Uh, so I think that we're going to have to continue to watch this closely. It is Springfield's Morning News. I'm Greg Bishop on 92.7 WMAY, Springfield's News and Talk. Uh, we've got tons more to get to in the final half hour here, so stay tuned. Say 24. Let's take a look at Springfield's dependable forecast, where today you've got a high of around 63. Plenty of sunshine. The low down to 38. Clear skies overnight. Sunny on Tuesday, 65 the high. And then a chance of showers Tuesday night, the low of 43. Wednesday, showers with a high of 70. Right now, 36 degrees at 824. Let's check that temperature again. Surely it's warmed up a little bit, right? 
Yeah, about 41 degrees at 824 from Culver's West on Wabash. Deliver smiles, butter burgers, fresh custard, and great service. Culver's West on Wabash is hiring for all positions. If you want a bank safe from anywhere, get the app you can use everywhere. Your money's right in your hand. Nobody loves you like Heartland. Get a loan, pay a bill when you're on the go. Deposit that check right from your phone. Download our app and you can. Nobody loves you like Heartland. We're like a bank, but only better because you're a member. Bank like you own the place. Heartland Credit Union. Menards has the floor with the style you want and performance you need. Latitude Luxury Vinyl Plank from Shaw is the perfect choice to bring elegance to your home while standing up to the most demanding environments. It's waterproof, durable, and is easy to install. Latitude Vinyl Plank is just $2.99 a square foot after 11% rebate. Good through October 15th. Savings are a mail-in rebate. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. Save big money at Menards. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency on earth. And if you owe back taxes, the news isn't good. The IRS is raising the interest rate it charges on unpaid taxes. And further rate hikes are expected. Most people don't know it, but the IRS adds interest charges to your tax debts daily. So if you owe the IRS today, you'll owe even more tomorrow. And it doesn't stop until you get right with the IRS. The good news is getting right can start with one phone call to Optima Tax Relief, America's number one one tax relief firm. Optimus tax professionals specialize in the Fresh Start Initiative, a powerful IRS program that can save you thousands if you qualify. In fact, the experts at Optima have resolved over $1 billion in tax debt for their clients. Call now for a free consultation. Call 800-783-8055. That's 800-783-8055. 800-783-8055. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. If you're 19 or older with certain underlying medical conditions such as asthma or diabetes, you can get vaccinated against pneumococcal pneumonia, a potentially serious bacterial lung disease that can disrupt your life for weeks. If you're 65 or older, it is also recommended you get vaccinated against pneumococcal pneumonia no matter the season. Talk to your doctor about vaccination today and learn more at lung.org slash protect yourself. A message from the American Lung Association in collaboration with Pfizer. Furnished by the American Lung Association. Looking for a fun way to win up to 25 times your money this football season? Test your skills on Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projection for a wide variety of statistics, and place your entry. It's as easy as that. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into into $250 with just a few taps. Easy gameplay, quick withdrawals, and an enormous selection of players and stat options are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Ready to test your skills? Join the Prize Picks community of more than 7 million football fans who have already signed up. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com slash primetime and use code primetime. That's code primetime at prizepicks.com slash primetime for a first deposit matchup to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. Must be present in certain states. Visit prizepicks.com for restrictions and details. Are you putting your retirement savings in a 401k or IRA? Then I have one word of advice. Stop. <laughs> You've been lied to by the Wall Street fat cats who get paid whether you win or lose. They say risk your life savings in the stock market, but studies show people who follow that advice will outlive their savings by a staggering 10 years. They say max out your contributions to 401ks, but the man who invented the 401k now says it's a monster that should be destroyed. They say defer paying your taxes to retire in a lower tax bracket, but retirees who fell for that lie are paying higher taxes than ever. Now get a free report exposing the wealth-killing lies you've been told and discover the proven retirement plan alternative Wall Street fat cats hope you never hear about. You can get guaranteed competitive growth every year and tax-free retirement income. Get your free report now at bankonyourself.com save. That's bankonyourself.com save. Bankonyourself.com slash save. To protect his home and family from disaster, Steve used courage, wisdom, and his camera phone. That should do it. Way to go, Steve! 
By simply taking digital pictures of his family's important documents, Steve can always have them stored safely online, no matter when disaster strikes. Learn other simple ways to protect your home and family before a natural disaster at ready.gov. That's ready.gov. A message from FEMA and the Ad Council. Springfield's Morning News with Greg Bishop. Listen on demand at WMAY.com. 92.7 WMAY. Springfield's News and Talk. I'm a big fan of stand-up comedy. I feel like uh, a lot of comics are almost uh, de facto philosophers uh, and uh, just uh, able to uh, say what's uh, what's on a lot of people's minds, but uh, most people not comfortable with the uh, <laughs> idea of uh, speaking out. But hey, uh, thumbs up, uh, especially some of those uh, big national touring comics. Uh, apparently, Tom Arnold going to be kicking off Donnie B's 25th season. Uh, what show is October 13th? 14th. Uh, being uh, Roseanne Barr. So uh, be sure to come on in and uh, check it out uh, and uh, take part uh, in the conversation as to do we do Columbus Day or an Indigenous Peoples Day or is there enough space for all of that? So stay tuned. We'll get to that next year at 832. I'm Greg Bishop on 92.7 WMAY Springfield's News and Talk. 92.7 WMAY. Here are the three big things you need to know. I'm Don Howard. Our top story, the 2024 election will be conducted with a lot of new faces. In some states, about half of election workers have quit, leaving officials scrambling to find replacements. The primary reason given is fear for their safety. Threats against election officials are animated primary. 2020 loss. Election officials in Nevada noted that new officials make more mistakes than experienced ones, which could lead to even more conspiracy theories in the event that new hires make honest mistakes. Sunday's Chicago Marathon ended with a new world record. Kelvin Kiptum finished the race in 2 hours 35 seconds, breaking the record of another Kenyan runner by 34 seconds. The winner of the women's A Union Pacific Railroad spokesman says one persistent problem is people taking photos on train tracks for weddings, graduations, and other events. About 50 people a year are killed or seriously injured around railroad tracks in Illinois. Nationwide, a person or vehicle is struck by a train every three hours on average. The Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity has announced the conclusion of the Back to Business Restaurants, Hotels, and Arts program with $156 million provided in relief funds. Through these three programs, nearly 4,000 grants went to businesses in over 500 cities, towns, and localities in 95 counties across the state. Over $27 million went to Sangamon County Hotels, Restaurants, and Arts Associations. problem is people taking photos on train tracks for weddings, graduations, and other events. About 50 people a year are killed or seriously injured around railroad tracks in Illinois. Nationwide, a person or vehicle is struck by a train every three hours on average. 
The so-called Constitutional Sheriff's to the Midwest, Richard Mack, founder of the Constitutional Sheriff and Peace Officer Association, is touring Minnesota as a guest speaker at nine different stops, including the Oath Keepers, which he helped found. The group believes that sheriffs have the authority to refuse enforcement of any law they consider unconstitutional. The idea has no basis in law, in part because counties in the United States are subdivisions of the state in which they are located, making it illegal for a county official to countermand state laws. Your WMAY dependable forecast is next on Springfield's News and Talk. News sponsored by Just Beds. A great night's sleep starts with a visit to the yawn exterminators at Just Beds. Online at JustBedsInc.com. What's for dinner? Burgers? After last week? No thanks. Avoiding foods due to fear of diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools? It may not be just stomach issues. It could be EPI, or exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. EPI can cause uncomfortable symptoms because it's a condition where the pancreas doesn't release enough digestive enzymes to break down food. But EPI can be managed. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor about your symptoms. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by Abby. So when was the last time you saw a best deal guarantee? You mean a promise that actually held up? Right. That some unknown online entity didn't want you to log in and download a code and then re-verify as you join some club? Drives you nuts, I know. And then once you purchase that set of steak knives? Well, Dick Van Dyke Appliance World is a lot simpler. You find a verified great deal and they beat it. Just show them the deal you saw. A newspaper clipping or the online cart price will do, and then you're good. At Dick Van Dyke Appliance World, it's one of those instances where you see a best deal guarantee and... You get the best deal. This is Dennis Rekin, chairman of Dick Van Dyke Appliance World. Our exclusive 10-year protection plan comes free with most appliance purchases. Whether it's a GE, Whirlpool, Frigidaire, Bosch, or any of our 30 brands, I guarantee we will beat any competitor's deal. Wow! Dick Van Dyke Appliance Hey, it's Breeze Airways, the seriously nice airline that wants to fly you to your next vacation. Fly nonstop from Abraham Lincoln Capital Airport in Springfield to Orlando and Tampa Bay faster and easier than ever before. We don't charge change or cancellation fees, so you can book with complete peace of mind. Go to flybreeze.com or download the Breeze app to book your trip. Breeze Airways, seriously nice. Dependable forecast on 927 WMAY. Clear skies today with highs around 63. Northwest winds 8 to 15 miles per hour. Clear skies again tonight. Lows sit down to about 38. Highs around 65. Tomorrow, bright sunshine expected. Upper 60s Wednesday with a chance for scattered storms. Turning warmer Thursday with highs in the mid 70s and scattered showers. I'm meteorologist Jennifer Wojcicki. Currently, it's 41. Weather sponsored by Lotterback Tire and Auto, home of Stage 2 service. Drive safely now. There's a whole lot of savings going on now at Staples. During Staples Sitathon, you can save up to $150 on select office and desk chairs. And when you buy a chair, you save 25% on desks, storage solutions, and office accessories. Plus, your local Staples now accepts Amazon returns. And when you return an Amazon order at Staples, you receive a coupon for $10 off your next $30 Staples purchase. Now is definitely the time to save at Staples. Chair offer ends 1028, in store only. Exclusions apply on Amazon offer. As a mom, comforting my family is what I do best. Vicks Paper Stick provides soothing, non-medicated Vicks Papers in an easy-to-apply stick. And it dries fast, so there's no mess. I use it to comfort myself <sighs> and my family. <sighs> Thanks, Mom. Vicks Vapo Stick, soothing comfort for the whole family. And when you need more comfort for yourself, try Vicks Vapo Shower for steamy Vicks Vapors. Use as directed. Vapo Stick for use ages 4 and up. Vapo Shower use for adults only. Are you putting your retirement savings in a 401k or IRA? Then I have one word of advice. Stop. You've been lied to by the Wall Street fat cats who get paid whether you win or lose. They say risk your life savings in the stock market. But studies show people who follow that advice will outlive their savings by a staggering 10 years. They say max out your contributions to 401ks. But the man who invented the 401k now says it's a monster that should be destroyed. 
They say, defer paying your taxes to retire in a lower tax bracket. But retirees who fell for that lie are paying higher taxes than ever. Now get a free report exposing the wealth-killing lies you've been told and discover the proven retirement plan alternative Wall Street fat cats hope you never hear about. You can get guaranteed competitive growth every year and tax-free retirement income. Get your free report now at bankonyourself.com slash save. That's bankonyourself.com slash save. Bankonyourself.com slash save. Springfield's Morning News with Greg Bishop. Broadcasting from the Fly SPI Studios. Take the easy way out. 927 WMAY. Springfield's News and Talk. All right, final moments here for the program on this Monday. It is Columbus Day, but also Indigenous Peoples Day. Getting wider recognition. We'll talk about that in a moment, but got an email here from a listener about the situation in the Middle East, especially with Hamas attacking Israel. Uh, it says, um, as stated this morning on air, I think the $6 billion ransom that Iran got is fueling this in part. In fact, the White House has had to walk back some statements about this is troubling to say the least. What else have they had to walk back? The commenter goes on to say, while Marjorie Taylor Greene is not one of my favorites in the current Congress, I do agree with her that we need an audit of the $6 billion paid to Iran, but also an audit of the equipment left behind in Afghanistan. How much of that lost equipment's winding up in terrorists' hands? Uh, the commenter also goes on to say, I also think that we need to know, and we don't know yet, how much effect Trump's leaking of classified information is having on this situation. How much intelligence may have been leaked. If it's determined that there was no leak from Trump that affected the situation, then what was the intelligence failure in the current administration? I think that's a great question. Uh, this is one powder keg that we didn't need to see going off, but I shudder to think what will be next under this administration. Uh, so uh, interesting comments there. Appreciate that. Uh, and uh, something that uh, we'll see what the White House has to say during uh, the the uh, news conferences that they hold from the podium uh, with uh, Corrine Jean-Pierre. So be watching that closely. All right, uh, Indigenous Peoples Day or Columbus Day. We'd love to hear from you at 217-629-7970 or are you just of the mind, hey, I don't care as long as I have the day off. A lot of uh, state workers not going in today because uh, of uh, Columbus Day and Indigenous Peoples Day. Indigenous Peoples Day is getting more recognition in 2021. Uh, former um, or the former vice president, now current president, Joe Biden, issued the first ever presidential proclamation of Indigenous Peoples Day. He said in a statement that the day is meant to honor America's first inhabitants and the tribal nations that continue to thrive today. So uh, it happens to be also Columbus Day. And we've seen uh, before in the past... You know, efforts to try to uh, tear down uh, Columbus statues. I mean, you had that uh, statue in, in Chicago that former Mayor Lori Lightfoot had removed. And if you recall, uh, they even before that had clashes with protesters that wanted to tear that uh, statue down. Uh, but uh, interesting to see the, the, the back and forth here and the division when it comes to which to celebrate. Can we do both? Can we, can we do both? Can we recognize Columbus as the kind of, uh, you know, aimless globetrotter that he was all of a sudden uh, stumbling upon uh, the the Americas uh, when he was trying to, to get to, you know, uh, what he thought was the opposite side of the continent that they were on. Uh, and, and is Columbus really the one that should be getting all of that props? You know, with the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria, uh, is that, uh, is that, uh, or is that the, 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 the I got to get my history right. Uh, so, yeah, 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Uh, and some people to this day in 2023 don't really like the idea of recognizing Columbus. Uh, here's, a, here's a statement from uh, the NDN Collective, an indigenous-led advocacy group. Nick Thielson says Columbus was a lost explorer who stumbled into this part of the world and brought famine colonization, the deaths of millions of indigenous people. For this country to celebrate that history is absolutely disrespectful, the indigenous group says. Um, but others saying that they are celebrating the survival of Columbus and all that he brought. 
Uh, so, uh, again, uh, indigenous groups uh, pushing back on Columbus Day. When we celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day in place of Columbus Day, it shows a victory for the indigenous people, he said. Uh, this coming from uh, Tilson again. Uh, represents how we won't be erased, how we still in our power, no matter what they did to try to kill us off and steal our land. While you've got Italian Americans uh, saying that uh, that's uh, a mischaracterization of the the need for recognizing uh, Columbus as a leader for the Italian people, uh, you've got uh, others who uh, want to say that indeed uh, by denigrating uh, Columbus Day, you're denigrating the Italian people. Which is it, or can we have both? Or is Indigenous Peoples Day meant to be divisive uh, against Columbus Day uh, and to to foment that division instead of maybe having a recognition, a recognition, a reconciliation, or something along those lines? Uh, so, Columbus Day or Indigenous Peoples Day, or are you just glad that you have the day off? While we're here live, taking your phone calls at 217-629-7970. You can also email bishoponair at gmail.com, or you can find me on all of the social media channels. Not all of them, because they keep on growing. Uh, find me on X, formerly known as Twitter. Find me on YouTube. Find me on Facebook. Just search Bishop on Air. Uh, one thing I did want to share with you is uh, a listener uh, contacted me and said, hey, uh, be sure to check this out, and if you can, announce it. Uh, and this is, uh, <laughs> uh, it says, uh, hi, Bishop. Could you work uh, to, to get the word out for Patrick Saussman for Mullet Champ? He works at Burger Bar here in town. Love your show. Listen every day. Thumbs up on that. All right. Uh, so Mullet Champ, what is this? Uh, let's see here. We're going to pull up the website and see if we can take a look at Mullet Champ. Uh, the 2023 main event. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's going to be uh, the 9th through the 13th. Apparently, you've got uh, a whole bunch of people that are uh, up for consideration. Let me see if I can pull this up on the on the website so we can take a look at it together. Uh, MulletChamp.com mulletchamp.com All right, let's take a look at some beautiful mullets. What do you guys say? All right. The next mullet champion could be you. View all contests. Let's check this out. All right, I'm going to accept your cookies, mulletchamp.com. Um, all right. Florida man. Uh, current contest, main event. Let's go check this out. All right, so we've got a bunch of people who are uh, up for consideration. Oh, man, these are some mullets, boy. Woo! Look at those mullets! Whoa, boy! Hey, I like the uh, I like the perm looking mullet too. That's that's pretty good. Uh, so who are we uh, who are we rooting for here? Let me see if I can pull that back up. Um, Patrick, let's see if Patrick's up here. All right, Patrick, we're looking for you on uh, Mullet Champ. Where are you at? Uh, some good-looking mullets, man. I like the shaved sides, too, uh, with the with the ridiculous <laughs> 80s multicolored glasses. That's so stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't do a mullet. There's no way. Where else? Oh, there he is. Oh, look at that. Look at Patrick Sothman. Yeah. Springfield, Illinois. Check. He's got the shaved sides. He's got the... Ridiculous. <laughs> Love it. Oh yeah. Oh, just look at this mullet, dude. And he's got the he's got the burns and the beard to, to go along with it. That's uh that's some dedication there. Oh my gosh. That is some dedication, brother. Look at that mullet. And it's long. I mean that's gotta go down to his mid back wet, right? Oh boy! So yeah, if you get a chance, if you want to throw some love uh, to uh, a Springfield uh, mulleteer, uh, be sure to go to mulletchamp.com and uh, you can vote for Patrick Sausman from Springfield, Illinois. He says, "I started the mullet four years ago when I decided to become a streamer on Twitch. I was looking for something to help me stand out from everyone else, and one day I got out of the shower and noticed that my hair was taking the shape of a mullet. 
When I saw that, there was few mullet streamers. The next day, I went to my barber, and the mullet was born, he says. All right, so look at that. <laughs> Vote for Patrick Sossman. Springfield, Illinois, uh, with the mullet, all right? And you can see his mullet, and, and, and you can judge it, but, man, he's got some stiff competition because there are, there are mullets from all over that are uh, vying for this. Some good-looking mullet. That's, that's way too much of a shaved head there. Oh, boy. I, I love the perms that some of these guys got going on, too. And they're really going over the top with the, the huge oversized glasses and the beard and the bare chest and the tattoos and the cut-off sleeves. One guy's wearing a suit. I don't know if that works. Uh, but I tell you, Patrick, he's standing in front of the state capitol with the with the rock horns out. That's a, that's a good look. Oh, but Nick. Nick Bruins. He's looking kind of... <laughs> Kind of ridiculous. Okay, dude, that's a little much. He's got the thin mustache and uh, kind of a poofed out hair. Oh, geez. <laughs> Look how long that is. If you're watching along on the stream, uh, this is this is rather uh, entertaining. Yeah, the neon the neon glasses are a nice touch with the uh, leather jacket. Over the top, over the top. Anybody out there rocking a mullet? Did you even know about this mullet champs? Uh, so go check it out. If you get a chance, go uh, go vote for Patrick. All right. Uh, and uh, you, while you're at it, you can check out some of these other mullets. Um, they got some mutton chops as well. Jeez. Whew. What a look. What a look. All right. So having some fun today uh, while you guys are uh, taking the day off uh, for Columbus Day or uh, Indigenous Peoples Day or maybe we should have a mullet day. Maybe, maybe that would be a good idea. All right, 851. Let's take a look at Springfield's dependable five-day forecast. Eh, let's cut that down. Let's make it just a dependable forecast. With the high today of 63, the low of 38. Clear skies with sunshine Tuesday, the high of 65. Chance of showers Tuesday night, the low of 43, with warming up to a high of 70. With showers likely Wednesday, Thursday, mostly sunny, warming up to a high of 75. Right now, it's about 43 degrees at 851 from Culver's West on Wabash. Work with a team that cares about being the best part of the customer's day. Apply today at Culver's West on Wabash. Looking for a bank that's more than just a place to keep your money? Clock Tower Community Bank, a division of Morton Community Bank, combines your love of community with trusted financial expertise. Local people making local decisions for local successes. With full service personal and business banking and lending of all types, Clock Tower Community Bank is everything you want in a community bank. Stop by one of our six convenient locations in Springfield and Chatham today or visit us on the web at hometownbanks.com. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Here's what we believe at Rex Battery. You should be able to find the right battery when you need it. Our company started when my dad needed a battery for his car and he built it himself. Today, more than 50 years later, we are still making sure you can find the right battery you need. And that includes the common batteries people use every day to the hard to find batteries used in big farm equipment. While online outlets are struggling with supply chain issues, we have shelves full of batteries. The best part is we're right here in town and ready to help today. Hearing aids, power tools, and the car in your garage. If it takes a battery, you can find the battery at Rex Battery, Clear Lake, just west of Dirksen. So when was the last time you saw a best deal guarantee? You mean a promise that actually held up? Right. That some unknown online entity didn't want you to log in and download a code and then re-verify as you join some club? Drives you nuts, I know. And then once you purchase that set of steak knives? Well, Dick Van Dyke Appliance World is a lot simpler. You find a verified great deal and they beat it. Just show them the deal you saw. A newspaper clipping or the online cart price will do, and then you're good. At Dick Van Dyke Appliance World, it's one of those instances where you see a best deal guarantee and... You get the best deal. This is Dennis Rican, chairman of Dick Van Dyke Appliance World. 
Our exclusive 10-year protection plan comes free with most appliance purchases. Whether it's a GE, Whirlpool, Frigidaire, Bosch, or any of our 30 brands, I guarantee we will beat any competitor's deal. Wow! Big Van Dyke, Appliance World, when you buy from us, get it. If you're 19 or older with certain underlying medical conditions such as asthma or diabetes, you can get vaccinated against pneumococcal pneumonia, a potentially serious bacterial lung disease that can disrupt your life for weeks. If you're 65 or older, it is also recommended you get vaccinated against pneumococcal pneumonia. No matter the season, talk to your doctor about vaccination today and learn more at lung.org slash protect yourself. A message from the American Lung Association in collaboration with Pfizer. Furnished by the American Lung Association. As a mom, comforting my family is what I do best. Vicks Paper Stick provides soothing, non-medicated Vicks Papers in an easy-to-apply stick. And it dries fast, so there's no mess. I use it to comfort myself <sighs> and my family. <sighs> Thanks, Mom. Vicks Vapo Stick, soothing comfort for the whole family. And when you need more comfort for yourself, try Vicks Vapo Shower for steamy Vicks Vapors. Use as directed. Vapo Stick for use ages 4 and up. Vapo Shower use for adults only. There are many reasons to buy a Verlo mattress. We've narrowed it down to the eight great reasons to choose Verlo. Reason number five, we have comfort coaches that care. We found our guests face enough of a challenge just trying to find the right mattress. The least of their worries should be poor service. We want your experience to be positive from the moment you walk through our door to when we are leaving your house. And we'll be there for the life of your mattress. For a list of all eight great reasons and our current sale, Google us or like us on Facebook. Here's a question for you. Do you know what's inside your mattress? I mean, really, what is your mattress even made of? What crazy concoction of materials are you sleeping on? Well, we might not know what's in your mattress, but we definitely know what's in ours. Because our mattresses are made locally with our own two hands and only the best materials. We lifetime comfort guarantee it. American made, locally crafted, welcome to Verlo. To protect her home and family in a disaster, Karen was willing to wade through water, mud, and insurance paperwork. Yeah, I can do this. You go, Karen! By simply understanding and updating what her insurance covers and doesn't cover now, she'll be better prepared no matter when disaster strikes. Learn other simple ways to protect your home and family before a natural disaster at ready.gov. That's ready.gov. A message from FEMA and the Ad Council. Take Springfield's morning news with Greg Bishop everywhere with the free WMAY mobile app, 927 WMAY. Springfield's news and talk. All right, final few moments here this Monday morning. Happy Monday. If you missed anything throughout the show, um, especially from the uh, first couple hours, you can go check that out. Just uh, follow me on social media. Just search Bishop on air on X, Facebook, YouTube. Officials in the manufacturing sector are out and about in Springfield with a stop at Mellow Cream already, and they're going to be in Jacksonville uh, at uh, Reynolds Consumer Products and then in Peoria at the Peoria Production Solutions facility. It's Makers on the Move, the Illinois Manufacturers Association and uh, other dignitaries visiting different uh, manufacturers and facilities and colleges and high schools around the state. Uh, those stops in Springfield, Peoria, and Jacksonville this morning, just the beginning of their tour uh, as they'll uh, be uh, focusing on how manufacturers impact the state of Illinois' economy with thousands of jobs and tens of, I think, hundreds of thousands. I think it's like 600,000 jobs or something like that. Uh, and all of the products that come from Illinois manufacturers Everything from John Deere to uh, Caterpillar uh, and a whole host of uh, you know food products, let alone all of the uh, various types of uh, ethanol products that are uh, created from our agricultural sector. Uh, but I tell you, when you really take a step back and see what Illinois is and the transportation networks that Illinois has, uh, this state really kind of is like the heart of the United States with how it's directing all of the goods that come in and out and go to different places, let alone uh, all of the goods that are manufactured here. Uh, so uh, obviously highlighting all of that, I think, is what the Manufacturers Association is all about doing this week. So we may hear more about that. 
All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Have a wonderful rest of your day, uh, be it Columbus Day or be it Indigenous Peoples Day, whatever you're celebrating. Uh, just be sure to celebrate life. All right, you get one shot at it. You're only here for a limited amount of time. Take full advantage of it. Breathe in that fresh air. Get outside. Take in some sunshine. Love the ones you're with every day unconditionally and just live life all right have a great day uh we'll see you back here tomorrow bright and early six to nine i'm greg bishop on wmay it's now nine o'clock